there it is. Got my buttons working again. It. Yeah, there was a, there was actually an update to Stream Deck, and that's what was screwing me up last week. Um, oh. yeah, it did not like it did not translate my pre settings. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Abraxas Precipice. We are the Expanse role playing game, actual play stream uh, thingy. The games put out by Green Room Publishing. They're awesome. This is Moth Gambit Phase Three. We are back with our good friend Jacob Mundell. Uh. <sighs> It is, Thank you so much. It is no longer his birthday, so now the kid gloves nope. are off. Not this time. Not special. Don't be nice to me. <clears throat> Not Excellent. this time. Um, we, uh, tonight, got kind of a mellow show going on tonight. Uh, I'll say that there's no giveaway tonight, so anyone, <laughs> everyone's going to ask. There's no giveaway tonight. Please don't ask. But uh, we are going to come back. I will say this. Uh, when Jacob's last episode of this is going to be Jeff's Kiss. Like I'm literally gonna give away Chef's kiss. That, that's that's the budget we got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get, uh, from maybe all of us. I know something the rest of you don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> ah, you're gonna send us a birthday telegram. <laughs> yeah, is what you're saying. I'm <laughs> I'm trying to run this show and I'm confused. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Jacob, tell us uh, who you are, uh, what you do, and uh, I'll let everybody know where they can find you. My name is Jacob Mundell. I'm a professional actor living in Chicago. I run a small theater company with my best friends here. Um, I don't, I don't, most of my acting career is in Shakespeare stage stuff. Um, I have not done much TV, but the one TV show I did had the most awesome fans. I did four episodes of The Expanse in season five, and I haven't worked on TV since then. So I'm that guy clinging to that thing he did once. And, um, <laughs> but I, I just, I, I'm a bit like in, in reality, I'm a huge nerd. I've always loved sci-fi. This wasn't just a job to me. I always wanted, like when I was a kid, if I could have been, like a Jedi in the background during Order 66 or something, I would have like, I would have uh, been Slay me, Anakin, slay me. Exactly. <laughs> slay me, daddy, slay me. But, slay. Uh, the Expanse was that bucket list thing for me, man. I got to be on a ship. I got to push these, you know, iPads buttons. I got to boop and beep on a spaceship. It was, um, so it was cool. the dream of my life. And honestly, that was one month in Toronto, but ever since then, I've just had even more fun going to Comic Cons, interacting with fans, talking about sci-fi nerd shit, and I, I, I'm, I love, I, I play Starfinder and Dungeons and Dragons, and then the amazing John Boltina, Boltena, Boltina, Boltina, yeah. Boltina, uh, said, "Hey, do you want to play an Expanse <laughs> RPG with me and my best friends?" And I was like, "That sounds awesome." And I guess were, technically I'm a guest, but like are. I could I mean, not be having. I could we not could be amend that fun, at so. any time. Yes, <laughs> I'm speaking for the group in this moment. <laughs> I yeah. did not get that one job in that I was that TV job I was telling you about, but uh, I did another audition, and now I'm holding out for that one. So I hope nice. it does, but Ooh. also part of the selfish me says, but I hope it doesn't. <laughs> oh, no. Perpetual unrequited hope is the life of a working yeah. actor. So, yeah. so cross your fingers for me and thanks for having me. I also wanted to bring attention because uh, you had asked about uh, kind of sharing information, but you your your theater is called Theater Evolve. Mm -hmm. and I posted a link in the chat for a, so if you want to donate to Jacob's work with uh, Theater Evolve, a nonprofit Yay. theater company. You guys are like five hundred three, nice. isn't it? And yep. We are a, so my theater company in Chicago, there's four of us that run it. We are a live stage uh, theater production company. We're a registered 501c3 in the state of Illinois, baby. And <clears throat> we, um, we've we done two seasons. We were mounting our third season and then COVID told us to sit down for a minute. So uh, we're coming out of COVID. We're remounting our, our, our third season. It's an amazing show called Krugazor. Um, Krugazor was a magazine in the Soviet Union during the Cold War that um, secretly, it was about, it was managed by the Soviet, you know, publication minders, but magazines back in the day had those secret disposable records printed that you could pull them out and play oh, them. Yeah. And Krugazor realized that the government minders weren't checking those records. Hmm. So they published American pop music on it. And, um, Krugazor is a play, it's a new production about the secret underground movement of pop music in the Soviet Union. Uh, and it's 
It's really awesome. And uh, we've budgeted it. We're, we're getting insurance. We pay all of our artists where um, we don't get paid. We only we pay the artists and the designers. We um, the, the show is budgeted at fifteen thousand dollars. We have eight thousand dollars. That's our starting yeah. floor. And we're trying to raise. Um, no, we need we 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 have 15,000 we need 20 so we're raising $5,000 and um it's just our yearly fundraiser so if anyone wants to click that link $5 helps $10 helps it all adds up and thank you so much for supporting live theater because you can make the world the change you want to see and supporting the arts is a great way to do it hell yeah ooh i got goosebumps hell yeah (laughs) all right so, there, so there's a link, uh, folks, you can go ahead and check that. And we'll be running that link during our episodes with uh, Jacob, so you're welcome to to, to, to that help help out a great cause in Chicago. Uh, Thank you. Last but not least, uh, I am not one to either ignore an opportunity, but we have a Patreon. <laughs> and so if you, want, <laughs> if you want to help us support our show, that's the way to do it. Uh, but if you want to support Jacob's too, uh, support art somehow. I said, like, that's what it comes down to, support art somehow. I guess this is art. I call it art. But I tell my wife when I close the door. But, <laughs> um, but uh, all right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and get into our opening, and we will be right back with Avrox Christmas. <sighs> Every screen in the Sinclair has an image of James Holden on his bridge saying the following words. This is Captain James Holden. What you've just seen is a demonstration of the danger you are in. Any ship that approaches the ring without my personal permission will be destroyed without warning. Not test my resolve. It has always been a personal mission of mine to assure that information and resources remain free to all people. The efforts of individual and corporate entities may have helped us to colonize the planets of our solar system and make life possible where it was inconceivable before, but the danger of someone unscrupulous taking control of the ring is too great. I have proven myself worthy of the trust of the people of the belt. It is a moral imperative that this shining artifact be protected, and I will spill as much blood as I have to in order to do so. Message goes through and repeats. Uh, Zenny, you're on you're on the comms deck. It's pretty clear this message is being broadcasted from the Rothanante itself. Chatter's coming all over from all over places. People are looking. Uh, the UN is uh, evacuating the uh, Sengun, uh trying to get mm-hmm. people off and everything like that too. Uh, they've dropped their cores, come out the back. Uh, the ship has some fires on it here and there. Uh, looks like they've lost a fair amount of crew, but. Um, there's definitely offers of help coming from uh, the UN ships are trying to coordinate this for evacuation. Mm-hmm. All of you are witnessing this, whatever room you're in that's on the screen. You can turn off the screen if you want to, obviously, but definitely. 
the mainstay of what's going on out here. Contact the behemoth and <clears throat> tell them we stand by for orders. Yeah. Yeah, the um you get come you get a thing coming back from basically if you try to contact Bull, Bull's not responding. They're all all up there. But yeah, they're saying like stand by uh Sinclair for orders. Do not engage, do not target, don't just kind of wait, but be ready for defensive action if need. Captain, without triggering their um, without triggering their being targeted uh, computers, um, I'd like a contingency f solution for firing on the Rasinante. You got it. Not a problem. The the the, the ship's ready to like uh, set up its torpedo tubes. It's got a pair of tubes to go right at it. The Rasinante is a ways out there. I mean, you're at long range for sure, but you could definitely put some torpedoes out there if you wanted to. But you also have a feeling that this is the same conversation almost every other ship is having right now. Right, we yeah. just gotta we just gotta do the quick when something like this happens, we just gotta do the quick checklist, and then we can be real. <clears throat> Curious um, who the hell put him in charge of this? Like, who the fuck gave him the right to say what he just said? What was the crew compliment on that on that UN ship? Uh, it's you know it's it's a pretty it's just like a utility ship, so it's mostly support and extra materials and like food and re and repair staff. It wasn't a, it has no weapons on it. It has like a PDC network. That's about it. Um, but it looks like, based on estimates from, like, what you guys know about the ship, they probably lost close to, like, 20, 30 people. All in engineering. Ugh. I mean, that ship's done. Like, it's not going to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Justin Bieber just killed 30 people. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Captain, should we... I know they're yeah. saying to stand down, but should we do something about that? I mean, there's other people who could be in trouble too, and if everyone else is trying to help, why why can't we? Well, it, it, and you're looking at the, the the screen, you can see the UN is mounting skiffs too. I mean, they like they have enough to get everyone off. Oh, okay. I mean, they have there's like about twenty, thirty UN I'm ships out here. No, you're fine, but I'm like it, it's stood. I redact. But what, that. It, what is what is <laughs> happening? Take that back. <laughs> what is happening is uh, you can see that the weapon systems on the Behemoth are starting to try to come online. It looks like they are uh, setting up for a targeting. They themselves are setting up for a targeting solution onto the Rasinante. Okay. okay. Um, okay. Hey, Wyatt. Um, let's go ahead and make sure everything is ready uh, for whatever happens, so we're not caught out, and we can, um, you know, kind of be agile about what we're going to do. Yep. I'll go downstairs and start making sure everybody's ready for anything. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um. <laughs> You, you, you throw up the signal, you can throw up the, you know, kind of the red lighting, battle lighting, whatever it is, and everyone gets in their seats, everybody gets kicked, uh, kicked into their appropriate stations here. Um, you guys have run this drill numerous times, no problem. And everyone's kind of watching, uh, and the real question is, what's the behemoth going to do? Um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, those of you on the, the deck, uh, you can see the behemoth is actually starting, like I said, the weapons start to come online, they've locked a target on, and have requested several messages. You can tell that they're sending tight beams to the ship. Uh, the Russell Dante isn't sending anything out but that broadcast. <clears throat> and can I do a scrub on that broadcast? Um, I want to. I want to see, um, like if, um, I want to see if there's anything, anything weird. Because like, uh, Zenny doesn't really didn't care about this like obnoxious celebrity figure. Uh, that was just causing problems. Like you care. this, well, right, <laughs> right. But like prior to this yeah. point, uh, Zenny didn't really care because it was just some Earther kid who had lived, who was technically also a Belter because he'd like done enough. Whatever. But like, whatever. It's just some kid getting caught up in stuff that he's not, you know, supposed to. Um, I've seen enough of those. But um, I want to see like everything that Zenny knows about him, though. <laughs> Yeah. This seems weird. He doesn't seem like give the kind a, of person who would be like, I'm going to fucking blow up a ship give now. Me <laughs> give me an intuition check. <clears throat> uh, 16 with a three on the drama day. I mean, he came out here by himself and he's claiming this thing. It doesn't make sense. It just it's like, yeah, you no. Know, uh, and then he's he seems to be claiming, too, that like he's working on behalf of the Belters where you have the OPA Navy and like the and the behemoth has come back and said like we're going to check back with 
Dawes and Fred about this shit. Um, but that's going to take like an hour or two hours to do. Um, mm -hmm. And with how tensions are rising here, you're not sure if the Rossinati is going to last two hours out here. Right. Um, so as you do this, uh, you notice that the uh, the Rossinati, you guys are watching this whole thing, the Rossinati starts moving actually towards the OPA flotilla uh, at a pretty good rate. Um, you see that the uh, the behemoth uh, has target locked the Rasnanti issued a warning and has actually gone to through their firing procedures. Um, when they do, the entire fucking ship turns off. The behemoth just turns off. Um, it powers down. Uh, you guys are seeing reading this. It's it's like a, it looks like standard kind of issues of glitches, some of that scale. It usually shouldn't be pulling power like that. Um, it's not ready for it, but the Rothanati keeps on advancing towards it. What's interesting though is that the Rothanati doesn't have any of its like PDCs out. It's not in battle mode. It doesn't have weapons locked. It's not doing it's kind of like moving around, basically uh, at a speed. Who's closest Do, to me right now? Uh, you would be on deck. Uh, I, I'd assume uh, it would be either Wyatt or um, Dingo. <clears throat> Did, did Dingo basically make... Well, yeah, because it would be Dingo, because, like, uh, if we come out from last... The last thing that we did, mm -hmm. we were basically, like, next to each other. Yeah, you guys right? roll in the ops, yeah. Okay. Operation Tech, yeah. Uh, then I think Dingo would just hear Zenny say, almost to herself, just kind of say, well, that's not right. As they're, like... You, you've seen them, like, scrubbing through this thing for the last, like, five, ten minutes or so. Um, yeah, replay the message, freeze yeah. frame and stuff, a lot of crap, yeah. Yeah. What do you see? Well, I don't... I don't keep track of people like him very often, but... Doesn't it seem strange that someone who is... I mean, he's, he's one person with a small group of people it just, it doesn't make sense that he would come into a place like this and cause something that's, that's a suicide mission. And if we know anything about James Holden, is he doesn't want to die. He does like to interfere. Do we have cameras that can provide visuals that this literally is the type of the class of ship that the Rasinante is? Oh yeah, it's transponders coming off the Rasinante. It's been confirmed. Uh, you guys have tracked the ships in, in there. I mean, uh, the behemoth is it's high end sensors are confirming. Everyone's confirming it. Um, but it looks like because the Rasinante is going towards the the OPA behemoth, um, like the Martians and the UN, the UN's more concerned trying to save their people. The Martians seem to be there watching this, but they're definitely on ready. But they're not going to like help anybody. They're not going to interfere if, if James Holden wants to try to shoot you guys up. Um, Have but, they crossed the threshold that the Behemoth gave them, even though the Behemoth is disabled right now? Uh, no, they haven't yet, but they're getting there. Um, but okay. right when they're about to, the Behemoth powers back up and a torpedo goes away. From the behemoth uh, at the Rathanante. The Rathanante diverts uh, now, and in a brilliant move of strategy, is heading straight for the Martian flotilla. He's gonna make a spectacle, and if you give him enough rope, he's gonna hang himself here. I don't know what to do, Captain, but I feel not. I feel the urge not to include ourselves. Yeah, I, I, I feel you on that one. If there was, you know, if if there was people that need to be rescued, you know, I'm with Zenny, you know, to be able to help. But at this point, um, you know, they, they seem to be taken care of over there. So I think we should just kind of hang like we sh we're supposed to and, be you know, see how it goes. Since we are in the same Navy as the as the behemoth, but we are separate ships. Do we have any kind of access to check to double check their systems to make sure it, it's back up or if there is some kind yeah, of a hidden you virus? See, you can see it's up. If you want to check uh, security systems, I mean, you could have a sec you could do a security check real quick too, uh, Jacob. Uh, roll, right. roll your security skill on your sheet. Yeah, hi. All three dice you? plus my security bonus. Yeah, so plus five. Yeah. And what do you say? Uh, Oh, I was going to say if there's a way that I can help yeah, you our system do, on that. Yeah, if you want to um, 
I'll have you guys both roll together for that. I can secure the ship, see if something got in or like, like there's some sort of breach. So I got 17. That includes a plus five? Plus, it includes the plus five. Is Good. that low? That's 17. Good. Good. Okay. I also got a 17. Okay. What would you guys both get on the drama die? Six. Six. Four. Four. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys go through and you, you kind of uh, scan through it and nothing's come on the ship. And there's been no additional like contacts uh, that would be able to load information into the ship um, for security systems. No one's trying to hack it or anything like that. Um, what you're guessing with the behemoth probably happened is that, I mean, it's not meant to be a warship and they're trying to run a warship off the reactor. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were trying to, they were, they were literally building this ship on the way out here, um, especially weapons. So, but you get a message, uh, Dingo from Bull. Bull open, asks for a, a live communication. On screen. All right. Do you want to have it in front of everybody or do you want to do it kind of privately or how you want to do it? Um... Can I can I ask if this is a private or public affair before before ask him before? Okay, before yeah, he, I, he says that. he says uh, we'll we'll keep it we'll keep it public. He comes back, he goes, he's all things are, this thing's a hunk of junk. Do you need just, anything? No, we just need uh, if if Holden comes back here, weapons blare, and uh, you guys are going to be the uh, interceptor for. Him. All right, Captain, yes. can we can we move to uh, position? where we are able to put ourselves quickly between the two. Absolutely. So you, you start moving the ship around, Apollo. Um, and he's well on his way to the Martian flotilla with a torpedo in tow. Uh, and Bull's like, Bull looks at, you can see kind of look off to the thing and on our screen, he's like, this, this fucking kid, geez. He's just like, and like, you can see like, based on it, like, I mean, it looks like the Rasa Nante is literally like, meters, I mean, we're talking tens, maybe like 20 meters away from a fucking Martian ship trying to hide behind it and shit. Great. Not my fucking problem. And he, I don't, and, like, and he's like, he's like, all he's doing is getting these, getting these guys that they're making everyone pull their guns out. And you can see that like all the Martian ships are starting to like, like load up. Like they're now Captain, deploying everything. While the fat lady is singing here, can you run a double check on the, uh, a scan, scan the area where our, um, our secret guest was before. Do you want to throw a scan uh, at that, Donna? Yeah, or, can we throw oh. a scan at the last location where we thought Pope might have been hiding? This is a distraction. Something's not right. Do you want to do that, Myrtle? Do you want to put a, a scan out that yeah. way? Okay. Absolutely. Um, we'll get Zenny to do that because that's Zenny's department. Uh, technology test, Zenny. I can assist if needed. Uh, you're, you're, on, you're on with Bull. Bull's like, Got look, it. this thing. He's like, we got too many guns on this thing, and there's too many. And there's now someone being a being a fool out here. Uh, listen, I'm gonna try to like, uh, I got the cooler heads prevail. Ashford wanted to wait for Dawes is okay to do anything, and I'm if we had waited, the Martians been out here would have been firing on each other sooner or later. But if we can all at least at least kind of uh, agree that Holden's being a fool out here. But um, he's like, hey, the, this. And he pulled. She's over a data package. He's like. The behemoth picked up no weapons fire striking the Sang Un. I'm pretty. Uh, can you guys send over your uh, your sensor data from that the Sang Un? Yeah. You send yeah, it we'll send the we'll send the packet now. And he's like, and, and well, it matches. Well, yeah. There's no there was so, no weapon fire. Nothing struck the Sang Un. He's like, I think so. I think someone sabotaged that ship. I ran. Hey, bull. I ran um, a double. A double, Zenny and I ran a double check on your systems and we didn't find a virus so I don't think all of the ships are nice. being lied to so I think you're right if there was I think if there is shenanigans going on it's probably something that happened on that ship that's what I'm thinking too someone out here wants to cause a ruckus uh, and uh, I, hope it doesn't, I hope it doesn't spill over to this ship uh, do you want to share this with our UN friends so they can sweep their own ships for bombs, or is this something we're going to keep we, to we ourselves? Pro we provided them as much information. It's all it's all hearsay at best at this point, or circumstantial. They'll figure it out themselves. We don't want to tell them how to do their jobs. But they're getting their people off. We've offered assistance however we can over here. Um, I think that's the best we can do right now. And I think that's, um, you know, what the last thing Fred told me was uh, make it work. And I think that's all we'll we, can, do. we can do out here. Will do, boss. I think this is a distraction, so pay attention to th what everyone isn't looking at. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm gonna get back to this and uh, make sure Ashford doesn't do anything else foolish, like uh, wait around. Uh, bull out. That's out. <clears throat> and you can tell Captain he was like walking around. He was like doing stuff while like that was going. He wasn't just talking to you. 
Captain, I am a desk jockey and I have little combat experience. So tell me if you think this is a good idea, but I feel like we should arm a torpedo or two. And I feel like anybody who's not actively doing something right now should sweep the ship for any sabotage. I absolutely agree with you. And uh, Wyatt, you can uh, handle getting our torpedo ready for us. Yeah, I'll, I'll we'll go down and talk to Waxer and see if he can look around, see if there's anything out of the ordinary, and we'll get one set up and you put uh, go. you put Waxer. Uh, Waxer, who do you want to have help sweep with you, man? You want Michael's help help you out? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have Nick Michaels. All right. So we got Nick you Michaels. Got a, you got a mechanic and an engineer down there, so they they yeah. might spot things better than the med tech. Yeah, McMichaels and Drax. We'll put them on it. Yeah. All right, Drax is yeah. This, is, this was his job actually. Uh, he's actually pretty good at this. So yeah, you guys start sweeping the ship. Uh, give me a searching test, uh, Wax War and Wyatt. The perception searching. Um, <clears throat> the uh, uh, the Rosinante just is ends up buzzing off from the the Martian fleet while you, while this is all happening, um, and it makes a beeline for the ring with the torpedo in pursuit. Uh, within, it looks like the torpedo's about to, about to hit, the Rastanante does a flip and burn to slow itself down and it goes right into the ring. You have such Just a disappears. good fucking what pilot. The? You can see- It goes into the ring, what's, can we can we capture what speed it goes into the ring at? Cause the yeah. last since I'm doing, since I'm already doing a scan in that general area, is that something mm. that I could grab? Uh, I mean, that the, the ship would pick that up anyways. I mean, that's okay. just, you're, you're tracking objects around you. So, I mean, yeah, I would pick that up, right. no problem. Um, but yeah, that's easy to pull out, no problem. Uh, it was going pretty damn fast. I mean, all things considered, it wasn't, uh, it was still decelerating, decelerating. Faster, I mean, it, not faster, faster or slower than the than the sling racer? Slower than the sling racer, for sure. Um, quite a bit, actually. But, uh, I mean, it looked like a hard decel that they were doing. I mean, they were, like, really pulling pulling the, the, the throttle back on it pretty hard. Um, honestly, you didn't see an explosion from the, uh, the thing. And you can even see through the ring, you can still see the, like, like there's the visuals come through. You can see some of the, like the the two different objects on the other side of it, but they're all distorted that you can't like make them out clearly. Like, you can't tell what the torpedo is and what the, the Rosinante. All right. So from now on, any, any, uh, any data we capture is on a constant forward auto forward to the behemoth yeah and they're sharing information as much as they can the behemoth has a lot more accurate data than your than you guys are pulling off your ship but like it's it's, it's helpful and they're they um, probably do they're just busy as hell i bet yeah they're trying to fit they're trying to actively fix the stuff that's breaking while like they need it to work <laughs> um yeah. it's it, it's a it is a mess um an absolute mess of a ship um you can see there's a lot of chatter going on in the martian fleet there's a lot of chatter with the un fleet um you got, uh, what what did you get for your searching test, Waxor and uh, Wyatt? I got an eight. I got an nice. 11. Nice. <laughs> Strong rolls, everyone. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well you guys, done. You guys kind of, you guys kind of like. I mean, it all seems in order. Like you're not even sure what you're looking for. Um. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure, it's fine. And, I'm sure, and, everything's fine. Yeah, everything's good on this ship. Yeah, nothing would be misplaced. All organized. We got it good down here. <laughs> well, my character doesn't know how you rolled, so I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, Drax did really bad too. Drax got a uh, got a twelve, so he did the best. Uh, I was, love this. Yeah, so they, so you guys just kind of like look around, and I mean, you're not even sure you're looking for, but there's no like breaches. There's nothing in the security logs say anything came on. Um, is there is. Is there anything inconsistent about the 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 gap of space where um, we scan before? Oh, can we scan that side of space so from that, this side of the ring? That's what now? I was doing. We, actually, we can't see yeah, it now. That's actually the problem that you can't see that space through this side of the ring. Wow. Because the ring blocks that section of but space. But I rolled so good. <laughs> I want to do. I want to do a detour to check the other side of the ring, but I don't want to spook the skunk because it's already a hotbed right now. That's kind of the problem right now. Is you would you would uh, you probably would get a nice so uh, at least a, a nice slap on the wrist from the behemoth about that. Damn. Um, all right. So, all right. So you guys kind of uh, are sitting there and like watch this kind of unfold as as James Holden takes the Rasanante at a breakneck speed through the freaking ring. Um, the uh, but he was kind of sitting there. The Martians are sitting there trying to figure out what to do. Um, 
the chatter coming from the behemoth right now is that Ashford wants to pursue Holden. He wants to bring him in. Bring him in for what? Is he wanted <laughs> by the OPA? Well, the the attitude is that if he's claiming he's, that he's, he's working for the Belters, but he's obviously not. Yeah, it seems kind of like like okay. Well, he says he's working for the Belters. A UN ship blew up. He's working for the. He's claiming to work for the Belters. The Belters fired on him, but didn't hit him. Uh. And Ashford seems to be kind of like this is the this is the play. We go in, we take, we we go, we we go in, we grab him. We are the ones that come out with him, and because this is where our jurisdiction is, this is what our place is. This is in Martian territory. The Martians are like, yeah, he has our ship. He has the Tachi. We need to go get our ship back. The UN's like, right. he assaulted one of our people. He's claiming responsibility for assaulting one of our ships. So, so kind of this is so, so this dude. is a plant the flag moment. Yeah, and it seems like everyone's kind of like there's kind of a general amongst all the different fleets that they're gonna go for the ring to bring Damn. Holden in. All right, team, we're outgunned, but I think this is a uh, for the belt moment here. Yeah. Um, is the whole flotilla being ordered in? The entire OPA flotilla is going in, it looks like. Uh, the Martian fleet's divide, and the UN fleet are both splitting up in halves. They're not bringing everything in. But All right. they have the number, so. But you guys have the Captain behemoth. I want us right in front of that behemoth. We're going to be the first belter ship through that portal. We're going to make sure we communicate anything to the behemoth that happens. We're going to go. I don't know what's going on, but that's that, that racer. Uh, got flattened, and uh, the 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 uh, the Rastanante didn't. So maybe we should do a reverse burn too. But I don't want us going any faster than that one was. So anything you got? Well, that sounds all great to me. Uh, do you guys think we can do this? I think we, we missed the chance of getting the shit shot out of us if we're not careful, though. Let's well, that's get- true. <laughs> Let's get Marid Masi to uh, be on standby because we might need some band aids in a minute here. <laughs> the uh, break. Trip. Let's break it. Oh, we're not going fast. That's the whole point. We don't need that super juice we got from Fred because no. the point is we're going slow. Right. Uh, <laughs> now, before Apparently, we do this, before yeah. we make this decision and go this way, right now, everybody is focused on that ring and everything that's going on right there. What if we went around the back and see if we could see anything of Pope? This is our opportunity to kind of break away without being, you know, a problem or screwing you, anything up. If you wanted to try to do it more casually, instead of trying to go around the back of it, you could just try to like go up on kind of above it, take a peek and then go back down into the ring. Yeah, where are we in relationship to it right now? Are we I mean, you guys above? are all sitting front, directly in front of the ring. I mean, you, you're everyone's kind of like, the ring's a thousand kilometers in diameter, so it's freaking big. Um, so all, all the ships can kind of line up in front of it to some degree, um, but it would be e- going around. It's going to be definitely like make like everyone can kind of see you going around it, but you might be able to casually kind of poke up, take a look and then. That's fucking awesome. Good job looking up for the secondary objective, Scott, uh, Wyatt. Um, <laughs> Same person we know. <laughs> wait, so guys, should we try to strategically look like we're covering the behemoth's tail and maybe be the last ones through and we can we can dip below or above and get a good look at behind the ring Dingo, give me right a, before we follow in. I'm going to have Dingo, you're going to give me a current affairs test, so roll your dice and add cur- your plus five for current affairs. Ooh, Zenny is nodding enthusiastically and looks petrified. <laughs> the um, most scared anyone has ever seen them. <laughs> okay, big, big roll here. So total is 22. I got double sixes and the event Ooh. die is a five. Okay. So, Damn. so so you know that if you were to like be the first in the OPA through the ring uh, and it wasn't Ashford's ship, Ashford would have your ass. Like he's kind of like Great. He's, he's not as he's, he's a diva like that. Okay. He's a, he look and look and he's flying the behemoth, you know, like he's not like it's not subtle, guys. Like it's not subtle what his his inadequacies here are not subtle. Like, um, good, 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 Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> this so works in our favor. Yeah, so don't, for yeah. Once. yeah, so don't, like, right, don't try so... to make it your show. 
<laughs> well, we're the only ones who are aware of our secondary mission. That's true. So let's let's okay. tell the let's tell the behemoth we're going to strategically cover your tail. We're going to take a tactical dive to the edge of the ring to watch your back, and we'll be in right behind you. Mm-hmm. And uh, while we're doing that, we're going to take as many pictures, just like we did before, of the back side of the ring. Okay. And we might be late because something might happen. Um. So you. <laughs> <laughs> you go and start the maneuver, no problem. Um, let me go ahead and get a piloting test from uh, Myrtle. You're, I'm guessing you're the... Yeah. You're the pilot. You're oh, the God. Oh, God. Come on, Myrtle. You got this. You got it. You sure I got this? The yeah. Sinclair stands to the side of the ring, the end. <laughs> Do it for Jackrabbit. Yeah, yeah. Do it for Jackrabbit, yeah. Uh, five, eight, 11, um, 17. Okay. Not a problem. Yeah, you go up and you make a, I mean, it's a good flight pattern and so that you kind of make it look casual. Um, you guys have a, uh, and you guys had, you guys actually had like, like, uh, six hours before you, ent- before entering the rings. So if there's anything you want to do before you go into it, because the behemoth is like prepping up and all this kind of stuff, they're not just like going to rush it. They're going to make sure everything's strapped down, ready to go. Was there anything you guys want to do before you do that maneuver? Strap some shit down. Yeah, Let's make sure here. everything is put away. I'm gonna check. Yeah, we could do that before we uh, really start heading that way. Um, no problem. Could a surveillance drone help us surveil any better, or is that? Does, it's more of a. That... It, it's more of like a like a personal style. Like it's more meant to enter a ship to to survey the inside of a ship. Understood. Yeah, it's Understood. not like a. It's not like a probe. Yeah, I got nothing. Um. Just prep the med bay, and I don't know. Maybe Zenny, maybe Zenny and I can double down and work together like we did before to to sweep the area like we were. I'll oh. set up some flight pan- plans that's like ready to, you know, um, no matter what's about to happen, is that we can be, you know, we can move around. I'll send him over to Wyatt to make sure that he takes a look at it and can approve, you know, whatever we're doing, make sure whatever weapons we need to have ready are ready, and we can move quick with whatever we're doing. Yeah, you guys have, like, assault packages ready to go, so if you guys do need to, like, uh, board a ship, you guys, that, that stuff's all ready to go and set up in the a cargo hold, basically bought in the crates ready to strap on your stuff, and you're one person per crate. Um, before you go do this maneuver, uh, and, and you let, uh, real quick, uh, Merle, do you want to let everyone know that you're going to the ring, or do you want to just like say, "Hey, you guess, guess what, guys"? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll let everybody know. I <laughs> hmm, should I? But I want to keep them from panicking. I- I'll be cheering down there. Waxer would be hyped. <laughs> going okay, ring. well, if you're doing the hype thing, then yeah. maybe everybody else who's down there would be going, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." So, yeah, I'll uh, go ahead and do it a little announcement. But, but, uh, you know. The Belters seem pretty uh, enthusiastic about it. Like they're actually like if Ashford's do up for it, and they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna go out and like we're gonna." This guy James Holden says he's done doing shit, and our names fuck him. Like let's go and like stop this crowd. Yeah, you know? let's they're get him. They're all for it. Yeah, let's go get him. You know how dare he? And, all right, uh, well make sure everybody's got everything stowed, strap in, and get ready to go. Right. Um. Oh, shit. So uh, you guys kind of take your time going up. Um. You have the uh, sensor sweep the area as you kind of come uh, coming back down uh, in part of the, the arc. Um, let me go ahead and get a technology test. Uh, you get an additional plus. Uh, who is it? Yeah, uh, Jacob. I'm oh, sorry, uh, Dingo and Zenny. Guys, do a sweep. Tech check. 21 double sixes, six on drama. My God. Guys' rolls today. Just oh, a insane. regular roll, just a regular old 19. I feel like just a <laughs> normal 19. Real, real quick, too, because I forgot to do this. Uh, everybody got fortune back from last session. Um, oh, God. everybody got oh, back. Oh, that's great. Yeah, everybody got back four plus uh, your level. So that'd be eight, so it's 12 plus your constitution. You were down. Oh, right? 12 plus con. Okay. Or you're just maxed out, right? Or you're just maxed out. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I should be using more fortune. Mm-hmm. You should. Because I just got <laughs> back way more than I used last time. Yeah. Yep. It's a dangerous game, my friend. <laughs> Listen, I was down I was down to 18. Yeah, you're... But it's also your health, so we haven't had any sort of combat situations yet. True. But, like, you can die real fast. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, yeah, actually, I should mention one of, the, one of the ship damage statuses that everybody in that, that section of the ship gets jumbled around takes damage. Oh, yeah. Um, all right, so, so uh, what'd you get, Jacob? Yeah, I got a 19. 19, 19? okay. Um, you go. You, you guys kind of come up. Uh, Dingo, you don't really pop up too much. Uh, Zenny, you do come back. Uh, you got. You got something. Um, right. I hope so. With double and sixes. And what six it is that you, you pick up? You pick up a pretty. Um, it, you extra pings coming off that area that you're looking at, where it looks like whatever it is out there is somehow like actively, like putting watching this area. Um, and most yeah. of the the pings are kind of going towards the ring. That is like they're trying to like scan the shell of a ring without like and using it as cover for for themselves, so no one can see what they're doing. Okay. But you only realize this after you through the ring. Well, great. Did well, there's you something anything because this is all cartoons to me. I rolled a 19. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think... Uh, so I think there's there's like... Okay, I need to know the time frame because Zenny is, Zenny is having a full-blown panic attack right now. It's not very obvious, but Zenny is very not okay with going into the ring and cannot verbalize it to anyone in this moment. Uh, so I need to know the timetable between when Dingo asks that question and when we enter the ring. A <laughs> few seconds after. <laughs> okay, great. Then Zenny will not share what they're doing. They're death gripping their chair. Well, and just kind of like staring at the screen. Now, not to metagame too much, because she said that in confidence to the DM, but given yeah. my implants, given how I have a read on people's heartbeats, their sweat, their breathing and everything, can I pick up on any of that absolutely it would have been then then nice. then at that it would have been as soon as we got confirmation that we were going into the ring it would have been an immediate spike and then just continued escalation <laughs> kind of doing like the scanning stuff was kind of on autopilot mm -hmm. um but yeah that's that's where that's where they're at right now they 100 percent feel like they're gonna die <laughs> all right I'm just gonna send a little text. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna send a little text to her panel, just saying like, we got each other's backs. You could talk to me if you need. We can do this. That's it. Maybe that's obnoxious. Maybe she yeah. hates it, but that's my shot. <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> uh, so when you guys get through, the, get through the ring, it is just a black space. Like there's no stars. Um, you can see a little bit of light coming. There's a little bit of light coming back through the, the way you guys came through the ring. Uh, you kind of make out some of the outlines of a few ships and like some of the stars, but it's all very blurry. Um, there is like a faint blue glow coming from the center of this of of the uh, the ring space, as it would be. Um, there's like a large, like like an orb. The inside of it's about the size of the sun, so it's pretty big. And the scans are coming back saying there's like. 1300 some odd of these other rings inside here as well, but they're all none of them are open. None of them have like the light coming through them at all. They're just kind of sitting there closed, um, just evenly distributed amongst this, this inside sphere area. Um, the Rosadante has, has a distinct lead on everybody, and uh, the flotillas of the um, Martian, uh, Martians, the Earthers, and the OPA are all in there. Uh, with the biggest ships being the Thomas, the OPA uh, behemoth, obviously, but also the Thomas Prince Dreadnought um, from the, uh, the the Martians have. They didn't bring any Donagers in here. Okay. Um, but almost immediately when you get in, uh, a broadcast starts uh, coming out from the Rosinante. I'm gonna put it up on screen. I'll. On screen. I'll yeah, I'll pull it. I'll like. I think that's that kind of like that plus like Dingo's like the little pop up message. Just kind of like pulls Zenny out of whatever state, and they'll like pull that up and like make sure it's broadcasted all around the ship. Um, it's it's actually a message from the XO of the Rostante, one uh, Naomi Nagata, and it's her with like a few other people kind of uh, on the on the off deck of the of Rostante, and she's basically saying like. Uh, that the message sent was fake. 
um, is showing the message that James, the, the, the message that Holden sent out and like comparing it to other footage of him from other like things and showing how like basically it's a composite, kind of a, a deep fake, if you will. Um, and how they believe that the person that just that attacked uh, the Sing Un was this woman. They provide a 3D sculpture, so not even a photo, but like a sculpture of a face. And they are claiming that it is one Julie Mao. It's pretty convenient. Uh, a, a, a woman that everybody's heard of and is dead. Did this shit. This whole, this whole fucking claim. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we Very thought dead. it might be this, but this didn't come up when we scrubbed it, right? Zenny, you said it looked clean. Yeah. Something seemed I mean, off just... about it. Like there was some yeah, addiction. it seems weird, but that was it. Well, we're in here now. What's the state of the Navy? Are, is everyone fine so far? Um, yeah, you get a status from the the uh, the behemoth is fine. All the other ships are fine. Um, it looks like <clears throat> she's going on talking about the ring space. She says basically there's a speed limit. It's about 600 meters per second. Not very fast. Um, and it's about it's a little bit lower than the speed you came in. Uh, and that if you go faster than that, the the defenses of the um, the ring space will uh, pick you up. And you can see that at the center of it, uh, you can see where the torpedo that was chased the Rossinante has been pulled off and is like going towards the center of the ring into orbit. And you can also see several of the probes that have been sent in are at the center of the ring uh, in orbit around this this thing. Um, it does come up, the behemoth comes up and shoots you guys some information, uh, then you get this up, uh, then you can forward to the captain and such, and the XO. But it basically says that um, Holden's not on the Rasanate, and it pulls up the scope, and you can see this little person way on the distance with an EVA pack going towards the center of the ring. And it'll probably take him like six, seven hours to get there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> shoot him and get this all over with. <laughs> so, so McMichael, he goes up to Wax. He goes, "Hey, man. So, um, what are we doing about that pool, man?" Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's. I feel like uh, he started a war, right? We start collecting. Oh, he started a war. This ain't no war, man. Who's shooting? At, oh. who, who's shooting? I mean, they shot at James Holden. That's not a war. Shooting James Holden is shooting at James Holden. That's not I mean, a war. They, I mean, they fired something. <clears throat> they fired a missile. A ship blew That's not up. That's a war, People, though, man. Die. Yeah, it's a skirmish. It's true. Yeah. It's not even well, a skirmish. They didn't fight back. Let's give it some time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's more of a chase. It's a chase. Wyatt, do you, chase. Wyatt, do you think this constitutes something or nothing? I'm gonna be completely honest. I really don't know. All right. Well, I won't say you owe me a burrito yet. <laughs> but. I'm definitely leaning towards <laughs> this is not nothing on the other side of the ring. It's, it's, mm, it's something, but it's also nothing at the same time. There's just, it's just that. What's that? If I wasn't terrified right now, I'd, I'd, I'd argue you down. But we'll have to deal with this in a second. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I just look completely like perplexed at everything i'm kind of lo I, I like lost wait tedwin 600 meters per minute I, per i'm second. sorry i am per second i am is a bullet faster than that like what is the what what can uh, we do on on board that that we can't do now well he says it, he, and according to the, the 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 information that the uh uh the ross Nati put out it's only when you're outside the ship so like once it clocks the ship as itself, anything that happens inside the ship is fine. Um, okay. But once it's outside in the space, it's that's when it starts clocking the stuff. So firing but, anything is basically. Well, you guys can shoot guns inside the ship all you want. Well, out like torpedoes or or you know PVCs or anything like that. Yeah, PVCs. Uh, P, uh, the yeah the uh, PVCs ain't gonna work out here. Torpedoes yeah. are just gonna like you can go just as fast as them and they'll chase you forever. Yeah. Well, Captain, I guess. Wait, can you control the speed of a of a missile? Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna have I'm yeah. gonna have uh, McMichael's and uh, Drax once we find that info out, have them start tinkering with yeah. uh, our weapon systems to to match this. So if you if, if you yeah. want me to give you like a like a reference to like miles per hour, because you know we're American, 
Um, it's uh, about 1,342 miles per hour is how fast you can go at this speed, which is nothing. That's I mean, Maneo was going about like 100 times that when he hit the Ooh, poor kid. <laughs> Oof. Uh, R.I.P. <laughs> right. I guess it's a good idea to keep our torpedoes loaded, but just be really fucking careful about that button. And I guess it's good to know that if anybody comes on board, we can still shoot them. <laughs> it's true. That's true. Yeah. We could also punch him to death. The, the other thing, too, is because... <laughs> and like, so, so give me a tactics... Uh, be a tactics uh, roll here, Wyatt, and actually uh, Ding. Dingo doesn't have tactics. No, Dingo does I, not have tactics. Dingo I do not have tactics. This is intelligence. Do I, in, just intelligence. Intelligence? Yeah, I got so, a 15. Okay. I said it before, I'm a desk jockey, not a... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you read I it. Get, <laughs> I got doubles and a four on the event die, and What's my total? total is... Plus three is 12. 12, okay. Um, why tactically, uh, actually Myrtle will get this one too. Myrtle, give me a tactics check. Oh dear. I forgot uh, you're, you're military also. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> like tactics, what? Fear, fearless, fearless leader, tell us what to do. Oh dear. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. bother. Dear, tactics check. <laughs> oh dear. Is that, is, that, is that fighting? Is that intelligence? I don't it's have tactics. Intelligence. It's intelligence. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Fuck if I know. <laughs> why we love Myrtle. You got a plus three, so. Oh, I botched. Okay. I rolled three, I rolled three ones. Look, uh, That's it, not it, great. It, it comes down to this, Wyatt. Like, if you, if you really wanted to go fight another ship, trying to, like, you couldn't hit the torpedoes because it'll, it'll outpace it. Your best bet, honestly, would be to EVA to the ship and try to cut your way into it. Um, so, in other, in other words, I, I think we're safe right now where we're at. No one's gonna hit you guys can't hit anyone, no one can hit you. Yeah. And you'll see him coming from and it'll take him like an hour, two hours to get to your ship. You'll see him coming well at a time. Yeah, we can just open the door and shoot him at that point. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Um, actually, we just you'd have, you'd, have to, you'd, have to, you'd have to wait till they aboard your ship to shoot him, actually. That's the problem. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that means that the primary means of combat now is hand to hand, then or close quarters, yeah. Or on close quarters, somebody. I got you. <laughs> should put on somebody should put on the two armors that we have in this yeah. inventory list that I see. I'll, we'll just I'll send do Laxer it. out there. Yeah. We ain't got to worry about. Yeah, I can, I'll take care of it. He's intimidating. Is that a yes? We're putting on the armor, or no? We don't need it. We don't. I mean, we, that, that just I think just in case. case. Yeah. Yeah. If someone comes on armor. to the ship, <laughs> if someone's coming towards the ship, Waxer, you would have about a you'd plenty have to put, time. You have yeah, you have about an hour before you had to get your armor on. Like, yeah, we're okay. I'll take a shower. We're okay now. Yeah. 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 You stretch it. You stretch it out. <laughs> get a good yeah. snack in there. Yeah, do do some yoga. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, Bolg uh, puts up a, 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 real, a calm request to you, uh, but it looks like light works okay in here. Radio waves work okay. Anything above the quantum level, though, that's where this thing can stop stuff, apparently. And the Behemoth has tested stuff out. They actually tried putting, like, sending some probes out to see what would happen at different speeds, and they're like, yeah, this 600 meters per second is exactly the, the speed limit. Anything fast that you. And you can see the, you can see these little, like, um, like this engulfed energy around they, these like probes that they sent out and it's being brought into the uh, the ring center. And you can even see like the the freaking um, the torpedo that was going after the Rosanante. You can see its Epstein drive still burning as it's being pulled towards the center. It's not going anywhere. It's not moving. It's just it's going at a very steady rate. All right, team. I need. I I just I just need a reset here. Given the circumstances, what is our objective now? Where our primary objective is to protect the behemoth. Our secondary objective is a ship that's still outside the ring as far as we know. Yeah, as far as we know, it could be in here now. It could be in here now. I guess we can keep scanning for it. And um, John can tell us if something comes up. But I think we're in a state of like, we know our objective. I don't think we have an actionable duty right now. I think... Like, am I am I am I not being brave yeah. enough? No, just no. Just I think you're the, absolutely correct. We we just gotta try not to die. Point, yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, when Zenny is not too too keen, uh, uh, Zenny's not having a bad time. But like, 
Yeah, from a meta standpoint, I don't think we I don't think we've missed anything. I think it's literally we're in like quicksand, but not in a way that is bad, in a way that we just kind of have to sit and yeah. get eventually to where we're going. Whenever I role play, I feel the pressure to do something, but I think right now there I, I mean there's the, always the... inter party stuff that we can do in the meantime. Oh my god. Um <laughs> So those downtimes that are juicy, y'all. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Captain, it's I know true. that we have I know that your time. crew is a bunch of badasses, but can we can we just like I'll leave this to you. It's your family. Can we do like a check in? I've got a good read on everybody in the in the in the on the bridge here, but like like waxer, like how how is everybody back there? Uh, yeah, yeah, everybody's doing good. Uh, we just getting ready. Um, you know, everybody, people wanting the pixie dust back, yeah. But uh, besides that, uh, <laughs> you know, morale is pretty good. Uh, All right. I think everybody's just, we just waiting to hear what we need to do. Yeah, right. I think that we could probably have, like, a quick team, you know, like, management team lunch. You know, where we just kind of talk with face-to-face -face and make sure everybody is good. See if there's anything everybody downstairs needs, um, and right. just make sure that we're taking care of ourselves at the same time. Because it's true, while we're a bunch of badasses, we all care deeply for each other, and we want to take care of ourselves. So this is why I'm the quartermaster, not a strategic person. So I want to make sure everybody's taken care of. Yeah, I'll give you a report from down here. Um, yeah. Dingo, you get a you get a, a calm request from Bull. Bring it up. All right. Bring it up. He goes, private. look. It's like, hey, we're pulling in a bunch of data over here uh, on this on this thing in the center. It's giving off some interesting energies. Uh, no one can really make heads or tails of it, honestly. Um, I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna start a stream to the the Ross or to the Sinclair. Uh, I want to back up all the data we're pulling in. You, you might hold, you, you guys might hold on to a copy of it. Hundred percent. Yeah. Um, there's there's some we, folks out here. Do we know if we'll worry about? Do we know if tight beams? I guess we don't know if tight beams make it back out yet. No, we've been trying actually. Uh, it looks like there's distortion. It distorts light, so it's gonna distort tight beams. Um, so we can't get them in and out. Get some sort of uh, relay on the on the thing. That'd be great, but that's not here nor well, there. If I'm gonna serve as a if I'm gonna serve up as an external hard drive to your computer, it my objective is to protect you. But if I can tell that your something happens, the behemoth's done. Should I bolt and protect the data and get it outside the ring? I think that's a good move. Make sure they right. those outside know the story. Um, but listen, uh, and he kind of you hear him tapping on his thing. He pulls up his thing. He's I'll take a look at this. And it's like a, um, you can see it's the, uh, it's an MCR uh, ship. Uh, one you know of called the Hammurabi. Um, and it is a uh, frigate. So this is like a pretty good size. It's not like a full blown like Doniger class, but it's, it's like a mid sized ship. Um, <clears throat> and uh, he's like, take a look at this. And you see the video go through and you can see like what looks to be a combat drop sh uh, skiff leave the Hammurabi. So it looks like they sent out. Where's it going? And you can see that he. Do you go up and pull up the trajectory of it? It's going towards that center. He's like, yeah, it's in pursuit of Holden right now. Honestly, Bull, I I know that the belt is trying to plant its flag out here, but I'm also we're outgunned, and I I I feel more comfortable letting the uh, letting the people with guns to spare watching them and see what happens when they chase TikTok stars into the center of the sun. <laughs> I think you're right. I got nothing. He's like, there's nothing we have. Uh, Ashford one is a Senate try to send a crew down there too. And I had to explain to him thoroughly how it wouldn't matter. One, we'd be there too late. And then two, doesn't matter how, how many, I could send 200 builders down there and they would all just die to those to four power armor Martians. I feel like I feel <clears throat> split between two, two different objectives right now. So there might be some split hair decisions. I'm gonna stick with you to the end here, but uh, obviously, when the chaos hits, I, we're we're all gonna do what we think is best. 
Yeah, yeah, well, James Holden's involved. Will, I'm sure it'll involve us all somehow, sooner or later. Listen, um, um, I yeah. want you to do me a What's favor. Up? You got a, you got a, you got a pretty good pair of uh, heads on that ship there with uh, Myrtle and uh, uh, Myrtle Cooper and Wyatt Thompson there. Um, get what, get some insights from them. Uh, get, I want to hear what they have they have to say about this kind of this kind of uh, situation. Uh, what do they what do they make of the Martians? The Martians are up to um, intel regarding. That that that's a broad thing you just said. You want like well, intel into Mar- Martian military behavior? What's their opinion of what they think is going on? What do we think people are doing? Got it. Yeah. All right. Uh, you know, more. I, I like some uh, second opinions as it would be here. Here, they're all pretty biased, unfortunately. But uh, uh, they're doing their best. A lot of the, a lot of the folks on the ship are doing their best. All right. Heard. Thank you. That bull out and he cuts out. Captain, can we can we call a can we call a meeting with with uh with the with the, with, the, with you the EXO, um, I guess Zenny Waxer and uh, Wa- Zenny and Waxer. Yeah, yeah, we can totally do that. Um, I can call down to Mikhail and have him come up and keep an eye here. Uh, there ain't much to do. <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna hang there and let us know if I mean if something's gonna happen, he might you know. I trust him to not get us killed while we have a little private meeting. All right. So in full transparency, wait, Hey, uh, Hey John, what's, what's the, uh, I, I had a little bit of a read on Zenny before just privately for mm-hmm. me. What's the, uh, the players can tell me if they want, what's the, what's the physiological readout on everybody is every who's cool and who's not cool. How, how does everyone feel? You can't lie to me because I can tell. Well, you can, you can, they can play it off a little bit. Uh, sure. why, why don't the body, you guys... the body doesn't lie. <laughs> if they want to, if they need to roll to lie to my fake eyeballs, they can. What is it like? Is it like, like how do you, how are you coming off Zenny? Are you uh, sweating a little bit or? Oh, Zenny's still like not great. Um, Zenny's in, uh, Zenny is trying very hard to look neutral, uh, well, like, stress, but, like, neutral, but, like, 100% they're, uh, they're still in, like, panic flight mode, Mm -hmm. like, fight or flight, they're not fighting, they're, like, they're, they're in panic mode right now, um, it's it's still kind of it's still on that level at least on on Zenny's Zenny okay. side. Okay. Um, so you you get you get a little fluctuation there. There's a little bit of panic. It seems though that uh, is any keeping their calm or keep their discipline or how's that working? Um, from a player's perspective, so like above table. Um, Zenny's trying to figure out any way to leave the deck and go somewhere else, but there is literally no opportune time to leave. Um, so they're just stuck in this, like, this shell of, like, kind of panicked energy that keeps building and has nowhere to go (laughs) to, like, you know, begin processing any of this. So it's just kind of sitting in their panic, uh, a bit for reasons I'm sure they'll disclose in a moment of weakness, but I won't right now. <laughs> yeah, Pull I, that I'm, out of my cold just, dead body. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Myrtle's just chilling. Uh, you know, being in the Navy, you have a lot of sit, sit around and wait, hurry up and wait kind of thing. So I got a cup of coffee and I'm pretty relaxed. Um, and just kind of positive of at some point it's going to be go time and I have confidence that we'll be ready, but there's really no stress that I need to have right now. Well, Wyatt, hey, Wyatt, he's def- I'm, I, Wyatt's always quiet, but he's more quiet, like more lost in thought, kind of not paying attention in his own little world for a little bit. So you can't, what? You what do you think really Wyatt's heart it? rate is like right now? Above normal, but not exceedingly. Like, you could tell it's elevated, but it's not to a point where it seems to be worrisome. Like, something's clicking in his head. He's running stuff and seeing if he can come up with any ideas. 
Waxer? Uh, yeah, Wax is, uh, he's calm, but, uh, he's also just a little bit nervous, like, since we can't really move or do nothing, so I'm checking all the, all the suits and all the equipment. He's kind of, like, preparing stuff. Um, he's a little bit confused with the whole Holden message fake, deep fake thing. He's not sure how he thinks about it, but, uh, he's ready to, like, help. He wants to see if we have to assist. He's, like just on you know ready to go if we have to assist the, the behemoth or you know ready for whatever we need to do so uh and right. then, dingo you get a message from bull bulls ba bulls basically saying i'm gonna try and negotiate the uh civilians off the rasadante uh like ashford wants to even if holds on board he wants all their heads I'm trying to get right. trying, to, trying to negotiate there's uh, several civilians on board though i'd rather not see them die all right try mm -hmm. to keep it cool uh your intel is inbound um, all right. I got a six on, per I got a plus six on persuasion okay. and a plus five on current affairs. Um, this is mostly, I'll, I'll burn some, I'll burn some fortune if I have to. Okay. This is for everybody. I'm not going to look at Zenny, but it's kind of also for her more than anything. And this isn't a trick. This is out of genuine intention. Guys, we are the, uh, the behemoth is putting its faith in us we are the unsung heroes and the point ship of a smaller army in a three army situation we are outgunned by everybody else that's here but we're doing this for the belt i'm not from the belt i don't know if it pisses you off to hear an earther talk about doing something for the belt but i'm a non-native soldier and i believe in what we're doing here we have a new secondary objective. The behemoth is giving us all of their intel. We're going to back it up in case anything crazy happens to it. So in a split second, if something happens, we also got to protect that data. We're looking for Pope. We're trying to protect the behemoth. We're being pulled in three different directions right now. And we're going to be OK. I can't promise that, but I think that it's true. The only way we're going to get through it is if we all accept that we're in the moment of being somebody. And, yeah, and, and I'll roll, and I don't expect any of you to do anything that you don't have to. I don't expect anyone to sacrifice anything they don't have to, but this is a moment where we can make a difference for the belt. Yeah. And all I want to do, all I want to do is make sure that everybody here is okay because my personal philosophy is that people perform better when they're all right. So if anyone is not if anyone needs help right now, I need them to tell me. And if you want I I'd, I'd like I'd like to roll persuasion yeah, it, to yeah. make it. everyone feel better. Do it. Actually, I, I you don't argue, have to roll for Zenny's sake. Zenny is getting up and leaving. I would argue this is. I would argue this is leadership. Let's go. With persuasion. Give me persuasion. Regardless <laughs> what you roll, Zenny is getting up and leaving. All right. I, I find his uh, his speech inspiring. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's improvised. Let's pretend it's inspiring. Um, it's all about so your own conviction. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's an 18. I got double fives and a five on the, on the special die. Dang. Okay. okay. All right. That's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, you, 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 a lot of the crew kind of like is like, all right, yeah, we're, you know, we're here. I mean, we're belters. Yeah. We're doing this thing. We're doing it for the right reasons. You're in it for the right reasons. They believe you. Um, yeah. That's how we survive. Working right. as a team, as a family. Yeah, man. They, they, uh, I'll give you some, uh, stunts for this too, because you rolled pretty high on it. So, like, um, <clears throat> yeah, you can like uh, you get you get quite a few of them uh, really into it. Actually, uh, you get two more. You have like three of them basically that like of the crew are now really up for it. Uh, the co-pilot, uh, McMichael's is super into it, and then we'll say the uh, med tech. They're all um, they're all here for like what like they now believe in the mission and what they're doing. That's good. You got McMichael's believing. That's that's like the <laughs> half the battle, man. Yeah. Uh, Zenny, while you're walking off, you get a you get a uh, an incoming uh, um transmission, live transmission on your data pad. 
It is from Yan. Brother. I do not pick it up. Okay. I, it's just left unread for now. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. It's him, it's him oh, yeah, it's a, live, it's a live one. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not going to pick it up. Yeah, you refuse connection. Um, <clears throat> it comes back right. in a few seconds. There's like a message waiting for you there. Um, so, uh, guys are kind of hanging out, checking out what's going on here. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to follow, I'm going to follow Zenny. No one has to come with me if they don't want to. If anyone thinks it's a where, good idea. Where does Zenny go try to isolate on the ship? In your room? Do you go to the Oh, bridge? they're going to the, yeah, they're going to the room. Yeah, I feel, I feel like Waxer would come too, because Zenny, Zenny has come and talked to Waxer before. Um, about his emotions and anger and how he's feeling. So I'll go with Dingo to try to help since I, I believe in uh, what Dingo is here to help us, yeah? Zenny, I'm tapping on her door. Okay. Zenny, I could override security and let myself in, but I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, th- this... I don't think that's the way. Uh, t- uh, t- oh, yeah. <laughs> no, Zenny, I'm just trying to let you know, like, this is about real respect. Uh, I'm, I'm not I trying to. I'm not trying. If you're tapped into the security, you would know that the door is locked or closed, but not locked. You can see on the door. Yeah, that's pretty. Well, easy. then it's not obviously locked. you can tell I didn't tap into security because I'm trying my best <laughs> to be real right now. You know that I'm a pencil pusher. I'm not trying to be William Wallace here. I don't need you. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Ancient history, guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm not asking you to. I'm not asking you to to fall in line. I just I I I care about you and I need you, and um, you know, em, 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 empl- employers violating you know employee health um health regulations is a serious fuck up. So you just, just hear from behind just... the door. You just hear fuck off. Uh yeah yeah let me let me take a stab yeah yeah uh Dingo. Zenny. Zenny, I'm gonna let Waxer talk to you, but tell me what you need. Tell me what you need, and it's I'll make it happen. Hey, uh, oh yeah, hey, Zenny, quick, yeah, quick it's question. your Copang. Quick yeah. question: uh, Does Dingo leave the area, to, or do you watch Waxer try to try to warp the door? Waxer, should I should I go away? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you okay? Yeah, yeah. You stay. Yeah. We, we'll both get in there. I, I'll get us in that. You could talk to her, yeah? Um, hey, Copang, uh, Zenny, it's, it's Waxa. Look, I'm going to be direct, yeah? Because uh, this is what we're going to, what we do, yeah? So, you look, you don't got to be scared. We, Dingo here, we, he's saying we all got to work together, yeah? You know, we're not going to survive whatever's out there unknown if uh, you're upset or you don't feel good feel uh confident yeah you know years ago i was on the ship on a freighter the icarus yeah and we we came up we we came up with we big problems yeah and everybody the clues the crew split up people were upset but the only way we all survived on that mission yeah was that we all got together and we worked hard together and we had to we had to rely on each other and trust us there was different there was an earther there was different folks on that on that freighter and uh, you got to let us in because if something's bothering you, you know, you know how that works, right? When things hit the, f- when uh, shit hits the fan and uh, you're not thinking straight or you're thinking a different way than the rest of the captain, maybe, and all the rest of us, you know, things going to go bad, man. Things going to go bad. So just open the door. Let us sit down. Dingo, he got a lot of uh, facts and stuff to show you. Yeah. Make you feel better Benny, if you want to give me a word cap i'll stay under the <laughs> word cap i promise uh there's like a there's like a long pause <laughs> but um the the door eventually will like you can hear it like open it's like it's just like cracks open um but it it, it is opened so that you could come in. Denny's not like there presenting the door like for you or anything like that. I'll grab like a bulb too, like a you know something, just yeah, something you, we could bring into the, uh, the tea yeah. or coffee. Yeah. yeah. 
<clears throat> I put it in Dingo's hand. Like I give it to him. Dingo. Yeah, bring this in. You bring one. I bring one. We give it to her. But uh... oh, he's. No, he's just sorry, gonna... sorry, guys. <laughs> you're, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> Two things. One, I've done a lot of talking, so we'll let you talk first. Two, okay. do you want a shot? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, just bring it in. And uh, I'll just start to come in. Hey, Zenny. And uh, we sort of move into your room. And I just, uh, you know, I just uh, look at her and see how, which, like, how, what's her body language? I'm curious. Are you, are you, are you sitting down? Or are you, are you, like, in a grass? I'm a, the, yeah, I'm going to get, like, low. Well, are, are you on the bed? Are you, are you like, are you, do you have a uh, pillow over your head? What are you saying? <laughs> no. I'm going to, I'm going to stop reading her biometrics. I'm just going to listen to her. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, so, uh, Zenny at this point, um, I think is, uh, uh, I think that she's sitting, um, not on the bed, but like on the far side of the room, uh, on the floor, like, like with their, their back against the floor. Or back against the wall. There, I, should and there, I should mention too, there's not a lot of gravity. There's no like gravity, right? Oh, oh okay. George, unless you have mag boots on or something like that. Okay. Well then, uh, okay. Um, then they're probably just they're probably just like standing then like leaning against the wall. Yeah. Just... Um, I assume that we have mag boots on at this point. Okay. Um. Um, talk to talk to us, Zenny. a little bit. What's what's bothering you? Something bothering you? Oh, oh, what what about right now? Yeah. Something on your data pad? Is there somebody else on one of those ships? It's this not all my the, input. Go ahead. Sorry. This is the farthest I've ever been from where I was born. And I got real used to being on that station, everyone. And I don't want to die somewhere out here in space where no one's going to know what happened to us. You're not gonna die out here. Yeah. How do you know that? Trust me. You, yeah. We could have we could have died instantly as soon as we hit that ring. But we didn't. How do you? We. But we didn't. Yeah. We figured out. They figured out on all the ships. Everybody. They got some brains on all over the ships. Everybody. And then was, what? 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 Then what next? Well, we. What next? We, you know whatever Holden's fucking around with over there. Yeah. Don't it, don't worry that could, about that. That could kill us in an instant. Yeah, but you know my brother's over on the behemoth doing whatever he's doing right now, and then we, my parents are fucking off doing whatever they're doing. They'll never, they won't even know that we're gone. Yeah, nobody's gonna let your brother. He's probably working over there. Everybody on the behemoth's working over there. Nobody's gonna let anybody die. We're you not worried about what can't do, just yeah? say that, Waxer. Yeah. You can't guarantee any of us are going to make it anywhere. I'll make you a His bet, false yeah? Prom I don't fucking care about your bets! No, I- All right, I, I, that's I, I, fun I and game- No, 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 you listen! You listen! None of this is a game! Waxer! People yeah. are dying! People on that ship, that UN ship, they died! And we could be the next ones to die, and no one's going to care, because we're belters and nobody cares about belters! It's Ugh. all about this fucking Holden. He's from Earth. It's all about you. It's pointing at Dingo. And and you fucking Earthers, you, you all care about whatever it is you're doing. Yeah, we got this mission. It's all for the belt or whatever. What about us belters who are actually going to do all of these things? What I don't want to die out here. What does your brother do on the, on the behemoth? He works on the guns. He's putting stuff together. He's making it work. He's outside he the damn ship. If anything happens, he's gonna be the first one to be blown off. Is he a hard worker? Is he good at what he does? Sure. I don't know, because he's been doc. He was with the Naros for a couple of years. I don't know what he's been doing. I guess he's good. He was good when he was around. Zenny, 
I don't like to make promises like Waxer because honestly, it's a legal liability. <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen. I agree. We're all out here. And that's why, to me, it's important to put in the effort to make it happen well, to make it go okay. And it's what I'm trying to do right now. I got all my orders outside this ship, but at the end of the day, the people that are going to bring me home is my new temporary family on this ship. Yeah. So we're going to bring each other home. Yeah. And as well, Belt is, go, sorry, Dingo, go ahead. It's okay. It's all right. I'm, we're all just waxing here. I, I don't, Zenny, it might go wrong, but panicking is going to make it go wrong. And I'm scared. It might, it, my objective is to get us all home because I think this is a dangerous, this is the farthest I've ever been from Earth for sure. I, I, we, I, I want us all to come home and we might not. And so I'm just trying to focus to make us all work to make us come home. And if we work together, I think we can do. We've got our orders, we've got our out orders. If before, if, if, if everything goes tits up, the, the, I'm going to get this ship home. So that's my objective. I don't want anything wrong to happen. And if we don't work together, it might go wrong. And that's why we need to not panic. Because if we do panic, we might die out here. So if there was ever a moment to show up, it's now. All of our training, everything we know how to do, this is the moment for us to take a breath and show up. And it sucks and it's scary. And my knees hurt. I have bad knees. I don't know if I told you that, but like this is the moment where I'm choosing to work through it. I'm in pain, I'm tired, I'm scared. And, uh, but this is gonna be the make or break moment. So if there was a moment to make you not lose everything, this is the moment to, to, to not shove it down, not box it up, not create an unhealthy trauma for later, but this is the moment to just put it to the side for a second and we can make this shit happen because we've got enough, we've got enough good heads on the ship. The behemoth, they're trusting us. They're putting their face in us because apparently we got the best heads in the OPA on this boat right now. So we're in control and we're gonna make it happen. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be okay, but this is the moment to show up and I think you're enough of a badass to do it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have taken this mission when I was scoping all of you out in research months ago. And you're a belta, Zenny. You're a belta, like me, yeah? We're belters, we adapt. We don't panic. We think, we figure it out. Even in the worst situation, and even if the whole environment want to kill us, yeah? All of us, we, we think it, we figure it out. And I, I promise you this, you're not going to die alone. Because if you die, I'll die there too. I'll be there with you. So you won't, that's a promise I, that Waxa can make, yeah? So. You're not alone. No. Something happens. It's not that nobody cares. Everybody cares. We're going to get all this information and everybody, the other 11 people on this ship are here for you. If you're here for us. We're going to figure it out together or we're all going to die together. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to tell you how to feel. I'm just saying this is the make or break moment. So I'm not going to expect some kind of answer. I'm going to leave actually, but I, <laughs> I want you to, I'm going to go because I feel like if I say anything else, you're going to feel like I'm putting pressure on you. I'm not putting pressure on you to feel a certain way. I'm just telling you how it is. This is the moment. And I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave. Dingo, when, you, when you walk out of the room, uh, Tedwin's sitting there with a, a data pad, and he says, sir, you need to see this. And I just walk off. And I'm like, great, more shit for me to do. All right, <laughs> time to go to work, time Last to show up. Uh, uh, I don't, I, if I, I don't give... do this, it's not going to happen. If I don't show up, the shit won't fucking happen. All right, more work for me. Here's what I signed up for. I'm here. Thanks, Tedwin. I love it when you get that I have to do. 
you can't tell if he's if he's being uh, facetious, facetious or not. <laughs> a waxing like, like extends his hand like the belter, you know, like shake to try, kind of like just you know see if I can. <clears throat> So has it like um a- yeah uh you can you can see that um there's like this hesitancy and there's like this um there's like this the uh you know your eyes get really shiny right before you're gonna cry that's kind of where Zenny is after everything that Dingo and and you had said, um, and after a, a a moment where your hand is extended, they'll take it and then take a couple steps forward. And if you if you will allow it, Zenny will give you a hug. Will just kind of collapse into your very yeah. large frame, and yeah. just kind of like <laughs> I just very totally like embrace, very yeah. limply, yeah. And then and not not like audibly but you can feel that there's like whatever kind of like panicked tension was was in them they they're you can feel that your your shoulder slash whatever part of body zenny's face is on (laughs) um that she's she's crying a little bit but uh they um after a little bit the like to, like step back and like you know very very unceremoniously wipe their face off and like take a couple of deep breaths and say well if we die and we're dying together right that's right that's that's the pack we're making yeah we die we die together so you so you ready to figure this shit out yeah i mean what else are we gonna do in this box right <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna throw out a, a, sh- a ship wide intercom. Mm-hmm. All right, everyone on board. This is your not captain speaking. I'm that asshole who showed up a few hours ago and a few days ago and started telling everybody what to do. I don't want to be here. And uh, can can I, I bet I know in my core nobody else wants to be here. But guess what? We're here. This is the military. It's time to show up and go to work. <laughs> so we can all get home alive. I'd rather be home watching It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. It's a classical show from a few hundred years ago. <laughs> it's uh, pretty awesome, but guess what? I'm here and the only way I'm gonna get home is if I team up with you professionals and we get the job done. I'm gonna ask you all, do you wanna be here? And I want a strong hell no. Captain, do you wanna be here? Um. Hell no. Zenny, do you wish, do you, you want to be here right now? Is this where you wish you were in this world? No. Hell no. All right, guys, but guess what? This is it. This is the make or break moment that's going to bring us home. So we're all going to go to work. We're the professionals. This is our training. This is what we've trained to do. We're the best there is in the OPA. And we're going to close this contract and we're going to make this shit happen for the belt. All right? I'm sorry. And uh, stand by for, for, for more orders, because we're going to make this shit happen. Uh, Waxer leans over to Zenny and goes, we've got to save this asshole's life, man. He's not going to make it. <laughs> can I is can I send a message to Dingo? Oh, yeah, absolutely. To just Dingo? Mm. Cool. Uh, I'm going to send... Um, you get, like, just text uh, that just says... Uh, you really need to get that stick out of your ass ASAP. <laughs> um, Dingo, going going back to what was sent, what uh, Tedwin brought to your oh, attention. Oh, follow up, follow up. About five seconds later, it would be a thank you. Aww. Um, going back to what is is it was footage uh, taken from the behemoth of the. Uh, the object at the center of the rings, the ring, what they call the ring station, this like big kind of glowing blue thing. And it's footage of it basically, it's kind of almost perfect sphere and it opening up like an aperture and is allowing Holden to come in. What the fuck? This guy. another thing to go into? 
He is the chosen one, yeah? <laughs> do, you want, do you want to share this information with, with the rest of the crew that Holden entered the station? I'm going to share it with Captain and the XO. I'm going to say, right. can I share, should I share this with everyone, or is this going to make my my shining rhetoric uh, even worse? <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably keep this one just, just between us for now. Let's just see what yeah. happens. All right. We don't need anybody. Oh. We don't need any more fear running through the ship. And you can All see right. as the footage goes on that uh, a few minutes later, maybe like half an hour later, uh, a crew of uh, a, a, the skiff stands like kind of not almost in orbit, but off of it. And you can see uh, several, about half a dozen uh, Martian Marines in power armor <sighs> jetting into there to pursue. After the Rasinante? Well, after holding himself, Rathanante's floating around with you guys. It's all, it's oh. all the ships, yeah. This is like, there. yeah, he EVA directly to it. He like got into a space suit. It's himself out there. It's great. So I, I see one, I see yeah. one tiny body go into the blue thing, and then six more bodies six, go in. Six much larger bodies with with guns and armor. Yeah. We're not going in then. I hope. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. We're All good. right, well, I gonna, guess I'm just going to get uh, go back up and uh, see what's going on in the pilot seat and be ready. <laughs> all right. I, I assume that the behemoth has all this, but I'm yeah, just going to send, send it, it for a, co- for a confirmation ping. Oh, they sent it to me. That's yeah, right. they're the one that it got sent because you're part of a security channel that's like a, of information that's got sent to you, part of your briefing, or Tedwin brought it over to you. Tedwin's like, I mean, Holden's lucky, but not that lucky. Let me know if anything happens, um, sir. So, uh, Zenny, you're you're in your quarters. Waxer, what are you doing? Uh, we were kind of in there. I was just yeah, seeing if she's getting re- you know she's ready mm-hmm. and like maybe we go head up back up deck, yeah. Okay. Yeah, see how we could help out. You guys, want to go up and yeah, okay. uh, head, head up through the? Okay, so you guys yeah. get ready to head up. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wyatt, what are you doing? I stayed upstairs with uh, with Cap, so there's an off deck. There. All when they come in. through. I'll look up at Zinni and be like, if there's nothing wrong about being scared. We're all a little bit scared. I don't have Zinni up there yet. No, when she comes by. When she then, comes by. I'll okay, stay. you're practicing, you're practicing <laughs> your speech. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Yeah, I'm practicing my head. That's why I was so quiet for so Dingo, long. Dingo, Dingo, what do you uh, uh, what do you what do you want to be doing? I'm gonna send a I'm gonna send a private. I'm gonna send a whatever you think is most common in this world. Wait, I'll, wait, either wait. a, a data that. pad text or like a, a voice audio to Zenny. Sorry. Let me ask this question. Where are you doing this from? Do you want to do it from the galley? Do you want to go up to the ops deck and do it? Do you want to do it from your room? Do you want to go downstairs? Where do you want to go? I guess I'm going back up to the bridge. Okay. You I go mean, to the ops deck, okay? I never sit in the captain's chair. That's for Myrtle, but I just like hang, I stand around the captain's <laughs> chair. Well, the, the captain, um, the, the captain, the, the pilot's seat, which is the captain's chair is basically, is like up above even the ops deck. You have to like, you have to climb yeah. in our ladder. So you're, you're fine. So I'm at the ops deck. I'll, um, I assume Zenny's not on the bridge. No, yet. Zenny's like um, hanging out in the bedroom. So <laughs> just so from the ops, I'll send her a text that just says, "I need you to. Th- this isn't a secret. I just need to give you a, a personal, a personal mission. Just since you know, com- you know, computers and ops better than anybody else here. Um, w- while everything's going on, I just need you to keep an eye out for Pope. Um, do what you need to do. Let me know what you need. I'll get you the support you need. But uh, please keep a keep for you personally. Please keep a, pr- a primary eye out for Pope. Uh, I need everyone here Uh-oh. to make a Constitution stamina test. I hate this. Uh, I hate this so much. Uh, it's gonna be fun. I don't have stamina. I chose intuition instead. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh man, I gotta use some fortune. <laughs> Eleven. Crap. Five, and I got a one on the drama. Oh, stamina. Jeez. Maybe there's no saving. I don't see stamina, so I assume that's that's just con change. then. It's, con, it's yeah. a con. It's a yeah. con. Con. The disabled guy con. A con check. I got a fourteen. Hey, disabled Uh-oh. people can live healthy lives too, sir. Okay. <laughs> Don't you tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> let me go get my, do- let me go get my uh, dozen donuts. Go down. 
Um, okay, let me walk through this real quick here. Okay, I'm gonna start with Myrtle. What'd you get, Myrtle? Eleven. You wanna up? You uh. uh so I got um, and then I've got uh, one number? on the drama die. One. Yeah, you can't make it. Okay. Well, actually, I'll give you. Okay, uh, uh, you got eleven. You said. Yeah, eleven. Uh, okay. Uh, you were you were you were in the pilot Wait. seat. Oh. You're in the pilot seat. Uh, so eleven. Let me put six. No, that'll still fail. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Uh, do is it? Hey, so because I have pilot master. Which one's pilot so master? So I could do? when I control a vehicle, I can gain a plus two bonus. Does that help? Oh, that's the uh. Oh, okay. All right. I'll, I'll give you that one. So what you're nice. in, so you have a plus two because I'll give you an extra plus two because you're in you're in your seat. Uh, so it's extra plus one is fifteen. So yeah, if you want to spend uh, twelve fortune, you are welcome to. Hell to, to the to, yes. Okay, so you spend twelve fortune to up the drama die to a six. Okay. That means that you only lose. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, you lose. Another, you only lose another sixteen fortune. Uh oh. On top of the twelve you spent, so you lose a bit. I've of got bad news, <laughs> friends. <laughs> Good thing I have a lot of fortune. <laughs> That'll be, uh, yeah, that means you're down, uh... If you had to spend 12 and then also 16, that's down 28. Yeah, you're yeah. down 28 fortune now. Okay. So, I've got 8 fortune left. That's not bad. Nice. Alright, yeah. that's, that's good. Don't tell him, that's, don't tell him. Uh, Wyatt, I got you in the ops deck. Uh, what'd you get told him? Add a plus 2 to it. I got 13 with the plus 2, and I got double 5s. Okay, 13. Um... <laughs> what was your lowest number? Uh, one, and that's not the drama die. 13, so that puts you to 18. Okay, uh, if you... If you want to... If you want to spend, uh... Six fortune... To, to make it, and not take the full amount... Yeah... Um, yeah, I'll okay. do it. Alright, so you spend six fortune. Okay, so you only take, um... Another another sixteen on top of that, so twenty two fortune total loss. Um, let me go to uh, Zenny. What'd you get? Do you really want to go to me? <laughs> okay, let's go to let's go to Waxer, who's in the same room. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so I got a uh, seven, and I got a one on the drama dice, but okay. I got great. A I got an eight, so we're like. Let's go! We get to explode <laughs> together, like I said. Uh, Waxer, Excellent. Waxer, you lose 31 fortune. Okay. But then you lose, you lose 31 fortune. I have one fortune left, y'all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Dingo, what'd you get? I got a 14. 14. What was your lowest number on the, on any of the dice? Amazing. Like, we're gonna die together. What was it? Oh, when? A, a, a one? When? A one. A win. A one. A win. <laughs> Okay, so okay, you can actually make that. Uh, so if you want to spend uh, six fortune, you take the you can take a little bit less damage here if you want to. I mean, the damage is to my fortune. So if I take six it's, fortune and then lose than, more fortune, it's not thirty one. It's not thirty one. <laughs> is what I was trying to say. Yeah. All right, I'll take six fortune. Okay. What? How much more fortune do so I lose? You, you lose twenty two total. Twenty two total. Yeah. All right. All right. Are you down? Are you? Are, is that how many do you have left? I mean, I was at full since we okay. regain right. regend all that stuff. So, so thirty six well, minus twenty two. Okay. Um. Share fourteen. Yeah, it's okay. Uh. Both okay. Uh. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Waxer, what's yours? What's your fortune at then? And. <clears throat> Great. I had forty one. All right. <laughs> Great. Great. Um, I'm glad I spent so much fortune last episode. It, Hell yeah! It takes a God. Second. <laughs> It takes a second, Myrtle, but uh, for your breath to come back as you can feel, uh, you hear it. You hear like a horrible hissing, creaking noise ringing through your ears. Um, you feel heavy amounts of bruising in your chest from uh, a very sudden uh, maneuver of some sort. The um, uh, You can see droplets of like red orbs coming through the air around you. Um, you're able to kind of put it together. Something happened. Uh, and, uh, what do you want to do, Myrtle? Uh, I'm gonna kind of, like, look at myself, see if that blood's coming from me. 
Um, it, you kind of trace it out and you look to your right and you can see uh, Mikhail in the uh, strapped into the seat next to you. Oh, uh, is he alive? Uh, you can see blood emerging from him, uh, but it looks like the straps caught his um, arm pretty heavily. And okay. you can see like, I mean, a, a discernible portion of his bones are sticking out of his arm where he's bleeding pretty heavily. Okay, um, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna uh, hit up Wyatt real quick. Okay. And say, hey, Wy- Wyatt, are you there? XO? Uh, yep. Wyatt, you're, you're kind of okay. conscious. Yeah, yep. I'm, I'm definitely conscious a little bit. But yeah, I'm here. What's wrong? What the um, hell happened? I have no idea what happened, but uh, I've got um, uh, Mikhail up here. He, he definitely needs to get some. Uh, um, I'm going to not be paying attention to this minute while I use the emergency medical kit here to kind of stabilize them. Okay. But could you check on everybody and see how things are going? Because I'm going to need to keep an eye out also for what's happening around us. You're going to have to watch. You're going to have to probably drive too. So I yeah. will send somebody up if everybody's okay. You okay. you look around uh, Wyatt and you can see at the um, like a, a kind of above you, whatever's above, like uh, not too far from where Myrtle and uh, Mikhail are strapped in up there. You can see Dingo's like body kind of floating in the middle of the way, unconscious. Uh, um, he looks he looks like he got pretty banged up. Uh, you can also see uh, Tedwin there as well, kind of floating around. Um, and that is all you see in this space. I would like to at least try to get them down. Okay, you you unstrap and you you push off and you can kind of grab them. Uh, pulling their limp bodies down. Uh, do you, want, you can try to put them into a uh, into one of the crash couches or um, take them down for to Monday or whatever you want to do. For now, I just want to get them to the crash couches and make sure there's no like visible giant wounds or anything. Uh, that, you can yeah. see a heavy amount of bruising on Dingo's face. Uh, it looks like uh, maybe one of his uh, like it maybe didn't break his orbital, but he like he it looks like someone punched him pretty damn fucking hard. Uh, Ted Wynn is breathing. He's breathing. breathing. Yeah, they're both breathing. Yeah. Okay. And then what about Ted Wynn? Ted Wynn's still alive too. He's he's also unconscious. They're floating around. Uh, you and don't I'm just see... taking them straight to the a crash cart. Okay. So you bring him down to the crash couches and the in, in, and and uh, in the uh, ops deck there. Um, Myrtle, you're you're pulling up you're pulling up all the med stuff here to try to like, take care of uh, Mikhail's injuries. Um, Zenny and Wax are the. Uh, you guys, are, you guys are unconscious. Uh, being, uh, what do you I'm go- almost dead, y'all. Yeah, I, got ten, dead. I got ten. I got ten. I got ten fortune. Yeah, I got you don't ten. Die ten. You don't die at zero fortune, but yeah, it does. Yeah, suck. well, I mean, <laughs> but I, I can't apply. I'm not awake, so I can't apply any medic stuff no. right on Zenny. Okay. So, um, Dingo, you're kind of you're, you kind of feel yourself sitting on a couch, and you can feel yourself being pushed around uh, after like what feels like you got smashed in the face. Uh, the last thing you really remember. Uh, you can see uh, Wyatt putting you in the putting you in the crash couch, kind of like. Uh, are you strapping him in, uh, Wyatt, or what? Yeah, I'm strapping him in just in okay. case something else happens. Huh. Dingo, can you're coming I, unconscious. Can I communicate? Can I can I lift my hands? Can I type? Can I communicate? Yeah, you can you can like talk. You can talk. I mean, it hurts a little bit, but uh, and you can see that Wyatt's got like massive bruises over his like neck where like the crash couch caught him and everything. Um. Can I communicate with people, non like who aren't directly in the room with me? Like yeah, you want, to try to, you want to try to pull your uh, your data pad? Yeah, I'm gonna. You pull it out. It's like completely smashed. It looks like it broke your fall. <laughs> All right. But you can grab um, one of the consoles if you want to and try to talk that way. Just, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hail Marid, Ma- okay. Masi. Okay. Are you with us, uh, Marid? Marie comes back and and uh, he doesn't ping you back. The med tech's not responding. All right, and the the person. You can pull the location if you want to though. You can see that he's un. He looks like he's somewhere in the. Um, it looks like he's in his quarters, his room. Okay. Not moving. I just see his. You just know what room he's in. Yeah, it's not that precise. Yeah. That's how it works. Okay. You can pull. You can pull, um, the, you can pull the camera in that room if you want to. Do that. You can see him float. He's like strapped into his bed. And he's like floating there. You're not sure if he's dead. But you don't see blood droplets everywhere, but you can see that he's like just strapped into a crash couch or bed. Maybe right. he's dead. He could be unconscious. You're not sure. 
why it's right in front of me? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, med tech is down. Uh, take account of everything you can and stabilize things as much as you can so we can make our next move. All right. I'm going to go like down each. I'm going to see if I can find anybody that's awake. Or next layer down is the crew deck. So that's where uh, Marita is supposedly. And then so is uh, Waxer and Zenny were uh, in her room apparently. Which room would I come to first? I, there, it's it all, don't matter. It's, I'm going to go to Waxer okay. and Zenny's yeah. first. You go into the room and you can see the two. You can see the two of them floating just in there, uh, pretty bashed up. Looks like heavy bruising. Uh, you don't see any blood, but you definitely see that they are uh, unconscious, floating in the room. All right, I'm going to kind of like see if I can get Waxer to wake up because I can tell that Zenny's probably worse <clears throat> off than he is right now. Okay. See if I can get anything out of him. Okay. You get you you kind of smack wax around a little bit, get him, try to wake him up, and wax. You wake up floating in the middle of the room. Uh, you can see there's stuff all over the place, like like a lot of the kind of the personal effects, those bulbs that you guys had, are like like bouncing around and everything. What happened? What? I I have no idea, buddy, but I need your help. I don't have any help right now, so I need you to take Zinny. She looks really bad. Take her straight to the medical bay. I'm gonna go down and see if I can find more people. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we don't got no hole in the ship, do we? And I'm grabbing. Yeah, the force came back with just some stress fractures and stuff like that. But yeah. we're good right now. But I don't know how long that'll last. So. All right. Yeah, her. yeah. And I'll drag Zenny, grab her, and start, start make my way to med bay. Go back I'll remain this. unconscious. <laughs> that, that'll go down uh, into past the galley. Um, who wants to go? Who wants? Because you have to go through the galley to keep on checking the next parts. Uh, or do you want to check the next room over, uh, Wyatt? Yeah, I want to see uh, if I can find the... Marid? Okay. Uh, you come into Marid's room, and uh, he's just floating, strapped into his bed. Uh, you go over and check on He's breathing. Oh, we'll see if I can get him. Yeah, see if we can wake him up at all. all. Right. You start trying to wake him up, and he kind of, like, pukes up some stuff. <clears throat> he's, like, he's like vomiting a little bit. It's a like, pretty big impact on his stomach. And he's like, oh, wow. Hello. You know, he's like... Don't wake that. I have no idea what happened. Uh, as soon as you're able, we need you to get to med. If you're able to, to start helping people, because I think there's yeah. gonna be a lot of hurt. Yeah, no problem. So, uh, yeah, 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 okay. I need like he's like getting his stuff. And he's trying, like, he's trying to get up and everything. Um, you sure you're good? You sure you're good to handle this? Yeah, no, I'll, I'll figure it out. I can do it. I can do it. Okay. I'm going to the next. I'm going down. And, um, so you, so Waxer, you come through the galley, uh, which is where the, the med bay's on the same level as that, mm-hmm. and you see a body uh, looks like it's almost ripped in half, like kind of oh. in the middle of the room. It looks like uh, you can see where, like, better not, like part of their legs. They were probably oh. sitting at one of the tables when the when the impact happened, oh. and it did not go their way. You better were, not be Mick Michaels. Better not be Mick Michaels. <laughs> you know, not you guys, today. Um, <laughs> it looks like uh, it's Yuri. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I just like, yeah. I'm just. Oh man. Okay. This is your. This is your uh, life support slash cook. Oh, oh, Yuri! Oh no! And I just, I just keep dragging Zenny okay. through. You go, you, you get in the med bay. There's like, and there's only one like gurney in here. There's only one bed in here. I just, yeah, strap her in. You strap her in. Um, I mean, uh, do you want to get her awake first, or do you want to uh, check for wounds or anything first? I'm just gonna check for wounds right now. Okay. Um, I mean, it looks like pretty heavy bruising. Uh, you can see, you, you can tell there might be some minor fracturing uh, at, at the worst. Um, but all of a sudden done, like everything's staying inside. Okay. There's, no, there's no broken skin. I'll, I'll apply any kind of medic thing that I would know okay. or just, you know, uh, painkiller or you wake give, her you up. Give, yeah, you give her a quick uh, amphetamine shot, uh, kind of like something kind of, yeah, boost her up a quick, really easy, real minor one. Then you wake up pretty abruptly, uh, laying med bay. You can see Waxer staying above you. Um, Myrtle, give me a medicine check as you attempt to uh, recover our good friend, uh, uh, Marie, this would be intelligence. Okay. Uh, right. We're not Marie, this is Mikhail, sorry, Mikhail. Mikhail. I'm gonna use different dice because my <laughs> dice hate me. Seriously. These are, my, these, these, are my, these are normally my killing dice. Same, man. <laughs> uh, ah! Fuck! <laughs> Five. <laughs> Seven, eight, ten. Ten. Okay. Yeah, you go and like I mean, you you give him some stuff to like uh, ease the pain, 
but he's like still bleeding and not conscious. I guess you know he is conscious. He's just like screaming and shit. But he starts he stops screaming down a little bit. But like you're not stopping the the wound or the bleed. I uh, hit him with the, the the pain thing to kind of make him yeah. pass out. Yeah. Okay. All right. You can try to make him pass out. Okay. Give me one more bit. Yeah. See if you can get him pass out. All right. Different dice. Oh, uh, that's a little bit better. So it's uh thirteen. All right. Yeah. You get him to pass out. He's it's good enough. He's he's not like he's not going to recover in the stat, but he's not going to like be suffering. Uh, and you can choose to right unstrap him and try to get him out of here when you want to. Um, yeah. Wyatt, you, uh, uh, Marie is like trying to like, get it, get, get it, try to get conscious, try to get his, his uh, stuff back together. He grabs his med, his med pack. He actually, you see him like plug himself with some like uh, some sort of amphetamine to get himself conscious a little bit. Um, Dingo, you're sitting there and you're kind of watching, you're kind of checking the the, the ship status. Uh, you can see Tedwin's still kind of unconscious there. He's like kind of, oh, uh, do uh, do you want to do anything for him, or and, uh, what do you want to do? Well, I'm strapped down. Mm-hmm. Do, do do can I mm-hmm. tell if my own legs and hands work? Yeah, you're you're it's, it's working. Yeah, it hurts a little bit, but it works. Okay. Well, I'll unstrap myself. Mm-hmm. Um, goes without saying, forward all the <laughs> forward all of the data to the to the behemoth. I'm sure they're sending me a bunch of shit. It's all and all the the signals are all locked up. It seems like everyone's trying to talk to each other right now. What the hell happened? Like this happened. Okay. This didn't just happen to you guys. It happened to everyone. Who's in the room with me? Uh, right now, it's just you and Tedwin. And then up above, uh, on the pilot the pilot deck, you can see uh, Myrtle's working on the co-pilot right now. Like, and you can see there's a lot of blood coming off that area. There's like um, like little droplets of blood. She's she's working. She's though? working. She's trying to fix the co-pilot. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna check in on Tedwin. All right, Tedwin's like conscious. I mean, or he he's kind of quasi conscious. He's like, sir, what the uh, what the hell happened? Like, we're oh. we're in it right now. We're unprepared, and our pants are down. We're doing our best. Yeah. Do what you can. Tell me when you tell me if you need need if you can't work. No, I I, I can I can do it. I can I can take a look around. Uh, look, I, I got a little bit of training. I know a little bit of first aid. Uh, if I can help, he's like he's like trying to like uh, get his like head together. Uh, you're pretty the sure captain. he's got, con- got a concussion or something. Okay, I uh, apparently I can tell that you might have a concussion, so don't hurt yourself if you can't. Captain's over there working on important stuff. Yeah. If you can, just the two of you are a team now. Team up with her. Look out for each other. Try to keep each other working slash healthy if you can. And I'm gonna I'm gonna float down the hallway and look for other people. Okay. Um, you kind of you see Wyatt uh, and the med tech coming out of the room, um, and then you can see Wyatt's get ready to go downstairs. Wyatt, you come past. You can see uh, Waxer and Zenny in the med room, and then you can see Yuri's body uh, broken and floating in the middle of the galley. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Waxer. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I got Zenny down. Uh, oh Yuri, man, he he's not himself right now. Yeah, he. You you can tell Yuri's dead. Like there's just no uh, question about it. He he two of himself right now, but uh, yeah. Um, we got where's Marid? Yeah, we need the medic. He's coming yeah, he's, down right behind you guys. Yeah, coming. yeah. He's, he's kind of like he's kind of like he's trying to move as well as he can. Um, you're guessing if he had gravity right now, he would not be moving well if he was under gravity. Well, how's Cap? How's Dingo? How, how what's what's the status of the crew? Yeah. Everybody's beat up, but so far everybody. Just Almost area. everybody's okay. Let's, so we need to go down to engineering and see if we can. Yeah, yeah. you got to check on McMichael, Drax, and Justine. Yeah, yeah. Need to down there quick because oh, man. if anything yeah. happens. Yeah. How many yeah. beds do we have in med tech? There's only one med. There's only one bed, man. And okay. I'm in it. Got it. <laughs> All right. Her I, name, I think what? this galley can turn into a quick med bay. Or, you know, like if oh, you, you use the that. tables, yeah. You need to like quick put people out, yeah. I mean, yeah, go check on them, Wyatt. Yeah, you know McMichaels. He's probably okay, man. He probably fell asleep through the whole thing. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt <laughs> that, but can you handle... I don't want to do this to you, Waxer. I'm sorry, but no, can you okay. body? Because if we yeah. bring more people up here, they don't need to see yeah, it. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, I'll take care of it. There's, don't, like, don't there's like bags and shit in Med Bay for this kind of stuff, so yeah, yeah it's not a problem. Yeah, I'll but, head out and uh, collect Yuri. Everybody, not, I mean, not, nothing personal, but you've cleaned up worse messes on ships than this, so... Yeah. No, nobody works alone. We're all bad right now. So everyone, pick was pick somebody yeah. and stick with Ma- them. Marine's like, hey, I'll I'll start. I'll check Zenny over. Uh, me and Waxer team up, and then uh, he's like, EXO, EXO, and uh, 
because he, he's not taking charge, but he's like on the med tech, so I have to like. He's like yeah. the he, he did, yeah, like trauma he did, response. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's like yeah, Dingo. Yeah. He's like Dingo Wyatt. Like go downstairs to see if you can find the other three. Make sure they're okay. All right, all right, Wyatt, you here. and me. Let's let's go get our people. You come yeah, who's down. Up with Cap? Is anybody with Cap? Cap's with uh, uh, Mikhail. Ted Tedwin Ted, Ted, win, Ted, win. Ted wins with Cap. Okay, so all right. No no one goes unsupervised. Everyone's with somebody. All right. Uh, the two of you come down into the cargo bay, and you can hear uh, someone going like, oh, oh. Uh, like, and you're pretty sure it's McMichaels. Okay, well, he's alive at Ooh. least. <laughs> I want to. I want to go make sure he's got still uh, a working leg. Or you actually find him. him uh, you can find that he's actually pinned behind like a piece of a uh, like cargo, and it's pinned his like bionic leg. Mm. Better that than your real and one. He's buddy. like, he's like, yeah. Fuck, some goddamn fucking pain receptors are kicking in. Oh. Hey, do you know where anybody else is before we are downstairs? As as downstairs. And he's are like, they okay? You know? I, you heard I don't know. I'm, I can't, I'm not going anywhere. And he's, like, <laughs> he's like, uh he's like, all right. He's like, XO, can you he's a look, he's like, look, can you can the two of you grab my shoulders and I gotta I'm gonna pull pull this thing loose, guys. Can I yeah. shut down your pain receptors on the on the on the uh on it's the like special on the it's like special gear to like do that shit. Okay. Um, and but he's like he's like I'm just gonna take it off. He's like I oh, this is gonna hold me back right now. All right, let's take it off. All right, so you guys like you guys grab him and pull it loose. I mean, it's not a clean pull off the prosthetic, but like it does it does pull him off. And he's not like gonna bleed out or anything like that, but it does pull it off. Um, it's like, oh shit. He's like all right. He's like oh, okay, okay. I, I can get. He's like I can get around from now. You can see him like using the handholds and pull himself up to the. To, can gonna, can you the check bit. everything you can? If you're all right, well enough to do this, check everything you can, make sure it's all working and functioning right. Yeah, let me let me head to the mid. Let me go ahead and grab a grab a uh, pain kit, and I'll, I'll get back to it. Sounds good. Now we'll head start going back down further. Does so, McMichaels have so McMichaels is alone right now? Uh, well, he's going right up to the galley, which is right where the med bay is. I mean, he's not going to be alone. He'll be once he gets out of your sight, he'll be in Waxor and Zenny and the med tech site. Heard. So, um, so I mean, he'll be out of sight for like you know of a second but, uh, um you guys go down to machine shop and in there uh you can see uh what looks to be um it's completely empty there's no one in there right now i uh, you, you can see stuff's been strung about like there's like a, it's a pretty big mess if there was someone in here they probably would have been killed by all the crap moving around. dingo you got any way to like search where people are at with your yeah where experience? yeah i'll check in where is where i guess we're, we're still trying to lay eyes on justine and drax and drax, drax. all right where, uh, drax where are they at? You, you get you get the ping that drax is in his quarters which are on the machine shop there's a, there was actually a pair of bunks in the machine shop um it looks like he's in his, his quarters there justine's registered right now in engineering and how far is engineering from there's one below uh, it's the next below. level down. okay Drax should be right here. Let's check on him and Justine is below us. Door yep. door opens up, no problem. You can see Drax is in his uh he's in his bed, like bruised up. Uh, he's kind of going, he's looking at you guys come in, he's like, what the hell happened? Oh I don't know, buddy, but uh are you well enough to go up yeah. another floor? No, oh, it's oh <laughs> this hurts to breathe. Sorry. And he like unstraps himself. He he kind of like pulls himself out. He's like, Yeah, I can help. I can help. And he kind of comes well, out. Well. Can I tell from looking at his biometrics if he is genuinely functionable or if he is on a decline? Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, give me a, um, this would be a hearing test for you. So give me a hearing test. I can try to like, uh, we'll sonar abilities to check him out. 15, no doubt. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, he's, uh, he seems okay. I mean, his heart rate's up. I mean, he's in an aggravated state, but he's like, you're just you're guessing a lot of bruising and crap like that maybe a fracture here or okay. something like that but he's not like um you're not you're not getting spikes in his heart rate or anything like that all right all right yeah yeah uh yeah i'm i'm, no. I'm not gonna interrupt just let let the ex you guys you can follow the exo uh, why you go you go to the 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 hatch where uh engineering opens up you open up the hatch and like as soon as you open it up it just starts like little uh orbs of blood start coming uh. coming out um, looks like they're they were pulled up against it. I'm going straight down. All right, you kind of you kind of go through the 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 orbs of blood, and uh, you can see on the ceiling there. There's like Justine floating, uh, body broken. She alive? Uh, uh, no. Okay. Oh, man. Hey, hey, Dingo, can you go? Um, 
I don't want anybody else down here. Can you go get another bag from... Yep. I'll just wait here. On it. Uh, Cap, I'll send a note to Captain and Marid that looks like Justine and Yuri are the two casualties so far. I think we've accounted for everyone else. Yeah, um, and as you're sitting up in the uh, the captain's seat, Myrtle, like you start getting alerts from like the behemoth. The behemoth is re- reporting something like 200 plus dead. Wow. I mean, it's like a third of their people got wiped out. And most of the fleets here, same thing. That's that's the numbers across the board. Like almost a third um, of the people is wiped out with about another third wounded. And the only other third that largely did pretty well were ones that were like strapped in their beds or something like that. Is there chatter about what might have happened to cause this? Uh, it's unclear what caused it. Uh, and it seems right now it's coming up. Most of the chatter you're getting is more solution oriented, trying to uh, do stuff up. Uh, there's like, everyone kind of has support gear to some, de- to some degree, medicine and stuff like that too. But it seems like there's a lot of internal injuries that people basically are gonna like uh, internally bleed out eventually. Um, is the right. worry so you need to get checked out for that and see what's going on with that um there's like plans right now being executed the behemoth um it looks like there there's suggestions on trying to like spin up the drum um and uh trying to get that to uh to be a way for some sort of gravity here since you can't do it because of the acceleration limit of the speed yeah that's um i'm gonna uh kind of make sure that dingo sees that information okay. you know and it's like um you know i don't think nobody spun up that drum yet like it wasn't even tested yet over on Tycho, right uh no and the other problem with it too is that like uh they'd have to dismount a bunch of the weapons the railguns specifically to even get the spin because they're currently kind of like you know i don't know they're sticking out <laughs> um for the ship in half so Captain, that right. Captain, that that drum, if they can get spin gravity, that might be the only way we can. Um, ha- well, actually, I don't know this. I'm metagaming right now. Um, but they're they're talking about spinning up the drum. If they spin up the drum, that might be our only solution right now. But that's going to scrap all their guns, which means the they're going to be defenseless. So we might need to we might need to be on defensive duty. Um, in case that happens, but honestly, that's the only way I see out right now. All right. Um, um, I'm going to bring in Waxer and Zenny and Wyatt. It's just like, you know, how are you, are your teams? If, you know, I'm going to make sure that they know about the whole, um, thing about what's going on with the behemoth and wondering if who needs to maybe go. If, if we're going to go ahead and send people or if we're going to stay here um, and try to protect the ship in case something else happens. Um, Zenny, so you, you, you kind of, you're kind of kind of conscious and like the amphetamines are kind of kicking in, so you're a little, a little hyped up, we'll say. Um, and uh, <laughs> I'm hyped up to know that I'm in a fuck ton of pain. <laughs> I'm hyped up to know I'm awake and in pain. <laughs> kind of like gripping her hand too, because if I yeah. hear about the behemoth, yeah. I kind of anticipate like her brother's over there, you know, and just yep. you know. Oh fuck! Like, Wait, I didn't even think about that. Shit. And, and you heard, and you heard, you heard like 200 casualties on the ship, along with. I mean, it's it's got a lot of people on the ground, but like. Uh, I'll go check on them. Like I'm just kind of being mean, you like, do yeah, try yeah, to contact yeah. them, like, or how do you? Yeah. And he's, well, you're sitting there like you're all amphetamine out. Like, I mean, the pain's kind of abated due to like, the amphetamines will get rid of the pain. It's, they're basically combat drugs, is what they are. Uh-huh, um, uh-huh. But, like, I mean, uh, you will become, I will say, this, they will make you hyper focused on something. Okay, cool. Um, then I'm hyper focused on realizing that my brother just tried to call me and I ignored it. Um, and he might have been on the outside of that ship, so I'm going to try to call him back. You go to call him back, and you actually get a response. He actually picks up. He goes, Zenny, oh, God, thank God you're alive. Oh, my God. He's like, look. What does he look like in, like, I in mean, this? I mean, he looks like he's, you know, he looks like he's, he's sweating and shit. He's like, look. He's like, I, I don't got much time to talk. I'm getting ready to head outside, and, and we're going to dismount the, uh, we're going to dismount the rail guns from this thing. Hey, um, you guys got a mech suit over there, right? 
Uh, yeah, why are you going out? What? Don't go outside. Don't go like, outside I, right I now. Gotta, he's like, he's like, I gotta take the we gotta take the guns off this thing so we can spin the drum up. We're gonna save everyone, Zenny. Like we're gonna we're gonna do it. As long as Ashford says it's okay, but we're gonna do it. Wax, we got a mech here, right? Uh, y yeah, yeah, yeah. We got one. Yeah. Uh, why? <laughs> why? Why do you need? A, why do you need a mech suit? Damn railguns! All the things are massive. We need any, all the hands we can get. Half their well, half my team's dead. Look, look, I, I gotta get going here. But if you if you guys get some help, uh, send it off. So I'll be doing the uh, the northern hemisphere one. Okay. Oh, sh yeah, yeah, I'm, sure. I'm, I'm glad you're alive, Zenny, and he, like he's and you can see him like getting ready to suit up and everything. Uh, yeah, Zenny doesn't know how to. That's just like a lot of it. I, I was just like in a, a con, unconscious pain, and then <laughs> now this. Um, so Zenny doesn't respond. <laughs> it just kind of lets it like <clears throat> eventually disconnect. Um, you heard all this, uh, Waxar. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, uh, Zenny, uh, you want me? I, I could go take care of this mech suit if that's what they need right now. But uh, how, how are you doing? You just, you know, just take it easy right now, yeah? Yeah, and Marid's like, Marid's there, he's like, look, she's, you know, you're, he's like, you're, you're doing okay. Like, your, your guys were lucky, uh, the, the padding on the, there's padding on all the walls on the ceiling in the rooms. Uh, I, I, I think I'm, I think I'm okay. Um, Zen, it's Jenny's just gonna try to get up and, and go. Well, and, and, um, uh, yeah, Marid, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just head over to the mech thing then. Okay, just, so you start going. Sound, yeah, it sounded important. And you can see that Michael's coming through without his, like, leg. And he's oh, like, yeah, oh, you he's good. Like, he's like, yeah, he's like, oh, man. Yo, we, we, in it, we in it to win it this time, huh, Koyo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm glad you're good. You're good. I, um, I'll go grab you. I'll get your leg. Uh, you just hey, let no, me know where it is hey, later, Don't yeah. worry, man. I'll buy, you know, Anderson, Anderson Dollars owes me a new one. We'll get, we'll get a new one when we get back. Yeah, when well, you're good, yeah, I gotta get the mech sem assembled now. We're gonna send it over to I the behemoth. They're need, so they're gonna need all the help they're gonna they're gonna want, man. Okay, good, yeah. good. You, that, that's good. Then we can help out, man. I'll go up and I'll uh, I'll see what I can do for Cap. Yeah, get Myrtle, it. Myrtle, yeah. you. Uh, what do you want? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna head up. I'm heading, by the way, over to where slowly over to where uh, Myrtle is, okay. uh, Myrtle, presumably on the. Uh, you you got you got um uh, Mikhail's body. I mean, he's doing okay. He's he's like still bleeding pretty pretty bad there. Um, Edwin's kind of like he's like he's like Cap. He's like Myrtle. Do you, you want me to help you bring her down to Med Bay, or what do you want to do here? Yeah, that would be great because right. you know even though we've only got one bed, but at least we've got all the tools down there. Yeah, so you guys start you know, bringing okay. you guys bring them through. Uh, Zanny, you can see them bringing Mikhail. His arm's broken. Uh, you're pretty. Get, you're also pretty guessing he's probably got a few dislodged ribs too. Looks like he took it pretty heavy to the right side there in the chair. He was just at the wrong position at the wrong time. And uh, you guys get him in. Marie starts. He's like, Okay, all right. I got my work cut off from you. He starts going and he starts patching them up here and everything. Um, he's like, I can get him. I can get him stable and so that too. But he kind of says to you, he's like, look, he's like, Myrtle, he's like, this, how gravity, this guy can't do too well. Uh, we got to uh, get that. The, the, the behemoth is trying to get the ring. They're, the drums they're, spun up? The drums starting. Yeah, they, they, yeah. they want... Um, my, I, I called my brother and he said that they want our, they want our mech to try to help with that. Yeah, they're gonna have to dislodge a lot of stuff. They got the thing, the things uh, overdone a little bit. Okay, okay. Uh, Dingo, you get a you get a call from uh, one of Bull's security team. This is like this is uh, one of his uh, subordinates, Surge, and he goes, uh, he, uh, he's all. Uh, I was told to give you a call, uh, Dingo. Um, I'm here. Yeah, uh, this is on, and you can tell like the lines like super encrypted here and shit like that. There's like a super secret like conversation, mm -hmm. and it's basically saying he's like, um, Ashford doesn't want to spin the drum up. Uh, Bull and uh, Exo Paw are about to go uh, remove Captain Ashford from duty. Are you? Do you think this is the right thing? And from Bull and Bull and uh, Ashford's not interested in getting rid of any of our guns, but we need to get rid we of the it. guns to save a lot of lives. We got to get that drum going. Yeah, tell I think me if you, move. tell me if you need me to. Well, I, I, I can I tell this is a secure line. Yeah, you can tell. And this guy is like this is Bull's like second in command of the security team. Tell me if you need me to help on the hacking side to shut Ashford out of anything. Uh, 
what, what we're more what bulls more interested in is uh, if you guys could uh, have a possible away team come over and assist us if it goes uh, sideways. Although we don't think bull uh, Ash will provide any uh, physical resistance here. We're assembling the mech that you need. Do you need us to hide some more you can, uh, su- supplies you, in that? Uh, if you wanted to have that tow a few of you over here, we wouldn't be opposed, but uh, I'll let you know if, we, if you're going to need to. I think we're going to have uh, the bridge secured in the next uh, 15 minutes. All right. It's what I understand from what you just said is that I'm. you're not asking me to do anything, but I'm going to stand by. I think that's that, that's what Bull's asking right now. You'll, okay. you'll, and you'll know Bull said you a direct, a direct signal if uh, an issue. The mech is on its way. Excellent. All right. I have Wait. a. I have. I have four rifles. Can I? Should do you want me to put one inside the mech somewhere? No. He. They got plenty of guns on the on the on the right. on that thing. But it's more of the, like he's like we could use more bodies to fire, if possible, if possible. And the mech would be a really good um, cover story to bring people over. All right, um, all right. Uh, stand by for people. I'll see what I can do. I can't promise anything. Yeah, both bull as uh, you're not the title like to be surprised. So, what we're doing here? All right, thank you. Surge out, and he cuts out. Um. So I assume the bulk of people are in the uh, med bay for for time. Can we assume I've got a bag down for Justine and... Yeah, you guys got her bagged up. Um, I don't know what you want to do with the bodies. If you want to either... You could start uh, putting waxer on recycler duty, or you could uh, stow them away, or what do you want to do with them? Space them? I mean, it's up to you guys. But, or you just keep waxer them in... Waxer or Yuri? Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, waxer would, be the, waxer would be the one that would do the work. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> no, we haven't killed Michael again yet. We're, we're, not, we're not that hard yet. <laughs> Well, wait, like, can I can I do a can I do a current events check or something like what what's 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 Belter culture? Are they going to appreciate recycle recycle bottles? Recycling, recycle. yeah, 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 yeah. Toss it in the recycler. It's going to help the ship. The, the thing is, right. that you, you don't need to do that anytime soon. They it'd be preferred if you took care of the people that need to be taken care of first, and then from the recycler. Mm, hey, Waxer, our, uh, yeah. this is private. Waxer, the priority is to keep people alive. Uh, do what you have to do to keep to to work for the the team now. When okay. you get a minute, recycle those bodies. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'll, I'll wax the ticket mm-hmm. over the belt away. McMichael, yeah, McMichael's goes, but I can do it. And you like you yeah. see him stand. He's all, you see him stand there with like his, like what's left of his like fake leg, his, his yeah. uh, prosthetic. Mm-hmm. And he was like, I was about to go throw this thing in there anyways. Well, do do it right, McMichael. It's okay. <laughs> and uh, no, t- don't go through the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Do uh, give him a proper recycle. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. No, man. That, yeah, it's all absolutely. All right. Thank you. So yeah, he go, McMichaels so, will take care of it all. You know, it's, it's it's there's no gravity, so like McMichaels is quite mobile without much issue. So we've got Marid, Mikhail, Drax, McMichaels, and everyone on the on the chat here. Mm-hmm. So so hey, all right, team. Guess what? This guy who showed up two days ago is going to ask you to dig deeper again. Okay. They're not boss man at the top on the on the behemoth isn't doing right by the people. So the people are going to take over and look after the people. Ashford is out. All right. All right. We're sending over the mech. We're going to try to send some people. This is all private. I've shot down all communications on the ship. Um, Yeah, I was talking to people. I can't tell. Wait. I'm going to use biometrics. Can I tell if anyone is not in fighting condition or is that too much information? I, mean, or is I, that I too wouldn't general? put McMichaels into a fight right now, but uh, everyone's, everyone seems okay, but they're not in the best of shape. Like they're not like 100%. They're not fresh. Nobody is happy right now, but the only way that we're going to get out of here is if we spin up the gravity on that drum, which Ashford doesn't want to do, which is why he's got to go. So we, we're going to spare some people here to help them spin up the drum on the behemoth. Yeah. Sandy, your brother's okay so far. I've been keeping tabs. I'll let you know if something goes goes sideways. You know your own mind best, Sandy. I need you on computers. 
but you tell me what you need. Do you want to go or do you want to stay here? I mean, I gotta be honest. I'm better at, at I'm better at getting in places and shooting guns. I'm. I just learned okay. some some fancy computer stuff from the last person who was on this ship. I know that you're gonna. I know that you're gonna do what you think is right. So, Zen, we got. You guys, tell me, how many should we keep here? How many should we send? We've got four. We got four rifles and three tasers. We got two medium armor suits. Yeah. Should we send? Should we send two people? Should we send four people? Two without armor. Who wants? I'm to, in. Who I'll wants go. to go? Who wants? I, got, to go? I gotta go. Make sure that my brother's okay. Yes, yeah, sir, Zenny. Myrtle, you get a ding on your on your data pad coming back. You get a little, <laughs> it says uh, it says OPAS Behemoth now under the command of Captain Michio Pa. All right. I was like, um, oh man holding this whole meeting and I, I took too long. Yeah, it looks like, they, it looks like they, they did it. Like, it looks like they held it. Oh. Uh, they have, like, all that all that bloodshed is observed, but like, it looks like now that the behemoth is now broadcasting out to everyone. So this is Martians and Earthers and saying they're willing to take on any wounded from any other ships. I'm sorry, I wasted your time, guys. I guess I gotta be better with words. All right. Who are we gonna sue? <laughs> Do we need to? Who, who's dying? Who do we need to send over for for gravity? Med? I mean, our, our pilot's not looking. Mikhail, too good. yeah, Mikhail needs yeah. it for sure. Yeah. Uh, the other rest of you wouldn't hurt uh, to be over there. Plus, they have better supplies. But they're actually like uh, calling if anybody wants to come on over and have good medical care along with bringing supplies over. This would be the time. And hell, you guys can even get the ship to dock with the behemoth if you really wanted to and bring over as much yeah. as you want. Or, that um, might not be a bad idea. Yeah, if we could do that, that would be better because I wouldn't feel comfortable, you know, with everybody just leaving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Michael says he's like, Michael says he's like, right now, my current condition, I'd rather be in zero G. I can take care of the ship for you, Captain, if you want to go over there. Well, we're on the buddy system, so I'll stay on the ship with McMichaels. We can dock. Everyone else can go get, go get, uh, Tedwin says he'll stay. We'll we'll take shifts. Okay. All right, we'll figure it out then. Yeah, if we could go over there and dock, then then taking shifts would be even better. That's a great idea. We'll take shifts. I'll go first. Okay. All right. So you guys you guys set up uh, to start moving stuff over to the the behemoth. Uh, looks like a lot of the other ships are kind of coming over. Um, some of the requests might even be to, like for you guys to go and taxi stuff between other ships and the like. Um, it looks like the whatever happened. Uh, and it's known that Holden is now under arrest by the Martians. Um, <clears throat> but whatever happened, it seems like the behemoths is becoming kind of the center of this whole thing and the people are starting to come out there. Um, so you'll be able to dock, but you won't be able to, be able to stay docked. You're going to have to like go in, unload your supplies right. and your people, and then get off. Um, and you guys can you guys can uh, remotely pilot the ship if you really need to. It's really not that hard. Um, but um, it looks like... Uh, all said and done, um, people are going to make this work, uh, despite all the dead, despite all the uh, injured, and the behemoth is going to be the center of it. Um, it looks like uh, Captain Pa and uh, now Exo Bull have it pretty well under control. Uh, have, have at least have a, have a plan of action here, uh, as opposed to letting a bunch of people die. Uh, I think we'll leave it on that. Whew. Ah, heavy. That was a good. Yeah, that was intense. Damn. Poof. Yeah. Yeah. Good one. Yeah. That was good. fun. One fortune. <laughs> I was worried about McMichael's. That was weird. Single fortune. <laughs> it's such yeah, a when good I rolled role those, playing. When I it's rolled good... so badly, I was like, "Oh, oh dear, it's starting." <laughs> yeah, I got three twos, y'all. That's the lowest I've rolled in a while. <laughs> you were saying, Jacob? It's just so hard to know how to role play well. You know, like like when you're in a situation where it's, I think the trap of D and D is like, all right, I shoot my arrow, I cast a spell, <clears throat> but it's like, you know, you you sometimes the best like you, you gotta wait, you gotta mm -hmm. share information, you gotta not share information. Like it's uh, this is a good game. This is a good yeah. game. Yeah. It makes you yeah. really have to think of like other, which I always have. 
I feel like I have trouble, but like what other things you would do, right? Like in yeah. those situations that are not just those actions, like, yeah, it makes you kind if of- If you're sunny, you go and panic in your room for a <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't really know how to call, I wasn't sure what I was gonna even say. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> probably saved your life going to your room. Uh, Everyone's probably, got a character yeah. arc. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think my character arc is do less or don't take responsibility for everything. It's, you it's know. yeah, you don't have to fix everyone. You I like Dingo it. though. I, I love I, I like I Dingo. Love Dingo are, I like Dingo's approach. Well, I did. It was... I didn't do the security system. I could just override this, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, it was a couple. It was a couple of things that were said that really stuck out to Zenny. I was keeping a list as you were you were talking, Jacob, as Dingo in your like inspiring speech of the things that I was like, okay, that's a thing that Zenny is like, that's like tipping the scale, not in my favor, such as like making it, you know, making it, making history, being here for the belt. And like, you're not expecting anyone to sacrifice anything, but Zenny's already sacrificed a whole lot of stuff. And like, it was a whole lot. And it was just built, like you were said, very good words. And Zenny was taking it in the absolute wrong direction. So that was, that's great. (laughs) That was really good. I gotta the Wait, what bit. were a couple of the things he said right? Um, so in the conversation, um, well, the thing that you said was like people perform better when they're when they're all right, and Zenny was like, "Oh, I'm not though," so that's good. But no, in the in the in the room, one of the things uh, Waxer said um, the a lot of stuff. But uh, one of the things that I think it was between one of the two of you, and I can't remember which one. It may have been it may have been you, uh, Jacob. Um, that was like uh, the 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 idea of like uh, if we're all out here, we're all gonna die. You know, if we're gonna die, we're gonna die together. Um, I some somewhat yeah, some combination of of that mentality. I think is what really like kind of pulled pulled them into this of like okay, cool, I'm pretty confident that we're going to die, but at least I won't be alone, which is something that, that's like the thing that Zenny's like really struggling with, is like they've been alone their whole life. They've Unfortunately, I think that's a little bit better than where she was before. <laughs> it was a, it's a little bit better than where they were before, 100%. Hey, we, 100%. Got, her out of the, we got her out of the room. <laughs> uh, correct, unconscious, but I got out of the room. Yeah. This is this is fucking hard, man. Like, yeah. I don't, like it, you know. Yeah, welcome to welcome to live play RPGs. It's a workout. <laughs> I tried to start solving a problem, and with, with the whole mech suit, like, let's help take over the behemoth. And then John was like, "Oh, they did it." I'm like, "Oh, oh I, I didn't read the well, subtext yeah, cause, right. Cause, that wasn't well because he I literally was said like, help. oh, it's probably gonna happen in 15 minutes.' Yeah. So like. Uh, Even if we had gotten the mech suit were, to go con- there, it would have been taken hours to get there. Yeah. You, well, actually, it was, you were back up. Like, and that was kind of the point was that they wanted to sneak some more people on there, but they do want the mech suit though for sure to try to get the damn guns off. They need as many hands as possible. But that's yeah. good though. It's good. Like, that's kind of how Bull thinks this contingencies of plan. Uh, what about you, Donna or Scott? Like, how about how'd you guys? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, it, it was a lot because I mean, you know, we like we you know the the point about like meta gaming and stuff is that especially you know we've seen the show some of us have been in the show um uh, it's just you know we have this knowledge that we have to not bring to our characters because we have to react like our characters have no freaking idea what's going on so um it, I, it was just really interesting it's it just it it felt like oh everything is chill we're gonna do this thing and then all of a sudden it was not chill <laughs> You know, and so then we had to really kind of start making, you know, it's 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 just like, okay, you're doing your things, you're doing the things, and just the way it happens, like in the books, is slam. Yeah. You know, all of a sudden everybody's fucked up. And how you react to that. So um that was unexpected I didn't even know we were gonna go that fast into it. So Mm -hmm. it was just kind of a surprise. But I, I really like a lot of the conversations between the characters and kind of getting into their heads too. Yeah. There, it, it's a lot to take in, yeah. Uh, Scott? I mean, I agree with everything that everybody said. I mean, there's not much I can add to it. It's My first thought was, like, what would Wyatt do as soon as it happened? And it's like, help everybody. Not worry about himself, just go straight to what he knows best, and that's helping in the best way that he can. 
Yeah. So, you know, thinking, yeah. You know, like Donna said, knowing what happens, I have to throw that out of my head. It just It's mm-hmm. got to go away. And, and what does Wyatt do in that moment, no matter what? And the difference is also between the books and the show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, because the, the book information and how this goes down is, is a little bit different because, you know. Which is working in my favor because I've only ever seen the show up to a certain point. Ashford's yeah. a, Ashford's a piece excited. of shit in the book. Oh, he's <laughs> awful in the books. He's like really awful. No, that's, yeah, that's he, why he gets kicked off because he won't spin the drums. They're all like, yo, we could spin the drum and save everyone. And he was like, no, we're going to give up our but guns. But our guns, but my that. guns, and like, and but my toys. Like, Bull's like, the guns don't work here, dude. We could save like thousands of people. And he's like, no. And they're like, all right. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, Bull is a much better character in the books. Yeah, Bull than is really the, 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 Yeah. <clears throat> so it's, you know, it's interesting how they did that with uh, with Drummer and Bull and, you yeah. know, how, how she became that character kind of became all these people kind of put into one and then they made Ashford uh, awesome on the show yeah but i think that's what happened like, i think that's what i think that's one uh one thing that happened with the show is that they, they got these awesome actors like uh like kara g is a, a great example of like they get this awesome actor they're like holy shit like i gotta fucking step this character the fuck up like they're stealing scenes there's some background character and i got they're stealing scenes i gotta step them up and i think that i think that's one of the beauties that the show really did well with was like really embracing that um yeah and so but the, the making are, everybody feel like a full character instead yeah. of just like the person who's just like right there the whole time instead of James Holden being the only realized character in the entire the entire show yeah Holden yeah. Holden Holden's developing his Cassandra complex at this point I'll say that like that's kind of what he ended up doing um, the man in my head told me guys the man in the head told me um, but um, yeah okay so. Uh, Jacob, once again, thank you. I want to mention uh, Theater Evolve. There is the link to it in our chat, so you can go there and donate and help out Jacob's awesome project. Jacob, you have any comments on that again, real quick? Uh, just, you know, you heard it all before. Um, you know, live theater is some of the coolest stuff you can do <clears throat> with an afternoon, not the Broadway stuff, but like the live theater being produced by by people without a million dollar budget, but there's talented actors everywhere, always who don't have work. So we appreciate it. And I just want to boost this, like, this is so cool. Like I've, I've never been challenged so much by role playing. Like, what do you do when you can't do anything? It's, um, it's putting me through the stress test. And this is like, I, I can't wait to try to do better <laughs> like like next time like this is just thanks for having me guys this is a i don't know what's going to happen this is a blast very awesome. cool uh, if you want to support our stream our patreon is a great way to do it uh that's that was the link there uh we're back again next week uh with jacob more jacob more of the crew uh this has been a really fun week for us because we got our art now which we're showing off our art and everything and everyone loves yeah. it um <sighs> thank you again lynn uh, thank you for the raid, yeah. fortnerd.com. Uh, we appreciate yeah. it and seeing some of our, our friends in the chat, uh, everyone. But we will be back next Wednesday with part three of this whole kind of uh, replay, kind of a, I don't know what you call it. Like, like it's like the schlub's point of view of a Batten's Gate. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. I think we're the, the uns, I think the Sinclair is the unsung hero behind the, scenes here like Mm -hmm. this is all this this is where all the nitty-gritty shit's going on i think the expanse is about the sinclair and it doesn't pay attention to it (laughs) (laughs) i mean that's history though i mean that's how history is there's always like these little extra stories that they kind of ignored or overlooked until it's all history is all the perspective of the person who writes it yeah so there's history all around and like the books in the show focus specifically on holden's position and like characters he interacts with but there's like so write that book solar on the Sinclair. system write that book on the sinclair no, Let's go. <laughs> okay. i can't wait for episode three and you guys i am stressed I am gonna, <laughs> hey you did it right <laughs> i am gonna sit in this stress for a whole week until welcome we welcome next wednesday mm. You've arrived in TTRPG hell now where this is all you're going to think about forever and ever. <laughs> I think we'll, I think we're going to end on that note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight. We'll see you next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on TV. Thank you so much. Bye! Bye.